you, are you recording? That's the other key there. Well, we've been live this whole time, so yes, now I'm oh, okay. recording. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. This evening is our Twitch Plays Kingdom Death stream, where we have an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster. Currently, we're in Lantern Year 16, about halfway through, but before that, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm Twitch Proxy, which means you guys are playing and I'm helping you control the pieces. So, Josh, what happened last time on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, aside from the technical difficulties? We beat the shit out of a level 3 Manhunter. We did. Yeah, we did. We did. Level 3 Manhunter was not that bad. And we got a cool tool belt. Yeah, the tool belt is pretty awesome. So, for those of you not familiar, the tool belt is you get something bonus if you don't have weapons in your gear grid, correct? Yeah, if you have no weapons in your gear grid, you get plus three evasion. Plus three is awesome. And uh, all tools in your gear grid gain the keyword sharp and lose frail. And they gain plus one speed and plus three accuracy. So plus how much speed? One. So plus one speed. So that's decent if you care about the speed thing. Well, it's two. It's normally a one speed weapon. So, so it's a two, two speed, bad. which is good. Uh, plus three accuracy is phenomenal. Well, it's an A plus typically, so we'll go down to a five plus. Still very good. Yeah. And more importantly, sharp. So, yeah, so it would be two plus one D ten. Yeah. The tool belt is so good for our dedicanthus doctor. Yep. That is accurate. Okay, so aside from that, we had a few technical difficulties, so we had to stop a little bit early, but tonight we should be able to get through all of Lantern Year 16, and we're going to be facing the Lion Knight up first, and then go into Slendy after that. Slendy. Yeah, my favorite monster in the game. Can't wait to get him back. Yeah, right. So, first up, since we're going for the Lion Knight, we are going to depart, and what survivors are we taking, Joshua? That's a good question. Uh, I'm looking at taking... Well, you guys are going to take Red Sonia, right? Twitch is always taking Red Sonia. They, like they love Red their Sonia. character. We love Red Sonia. And then uh, you're taking Queen Anna? I'm going to take Queen Anna. I'm going to go and punch stuff in the butt. I will take... <laughs> I'm not going to take Death Toss. Lion Knight, then Slendy. So much salt. That is probably accurate. I'm going to take... Uh, Durzo Blint Heartstrings. And I'm gonna take Narfalek. Not Carfuncle. Carfuncle. I don't I don't know. It's Carfuncle. It's Carfuncle. We have one of each. So I'm just organizing my gear grid right now. Or actually Twitch's gear grid. This is for Red Sonia. So you guys have the Rawhide armor set? Is this the full? Yeah, it's the full Rawhide armor set. You have the Rawhide drum. And the Knuckle Shield, the Flower Knight Badge, and the Zambato. So, TP, um, just to clarify, your weapons and your armor. Okay, just give me one second. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. Ooh, bring that into our picture there. Sorry. And so, Josh, who are you taking? I'm bringing Durzo Blint and Narflex. You're right. You said that already. So, oh, I have the bastardized gear grid with all weird stuff going on. I do, too. Um, I'm actually short uh, green affinity to make my guy awesome, which makes me disappointed. But if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. So I have... God, this is such a weird armor set. I have the Manhunter's hat... I have the starting survivor cloth. I have the green gloves from the green armor set. I have rawhide boots, and I have a cycloid jacket. Do you need this? Yes. Do you need the blue affinity? I need the blue affinity. So if you give me a left blue, that works too. I also have the luck charm. I have a counterweight axe and a calcified juggernaut blade, which I'm using pretty much just for the affinities. I'll give you blue. Oh. You'll oh. Phrasing, Joshua. I hope no one clips that. So. I have the Vespertine Bow, the Calcified Juggernaut Blade, and the Counterweight Axe. Uh, so I've got some good weapons, actually. But I do have the uh, Curse of TP as well as Left Cheek Obsession, so I start around late. 
and I'm going to be only going for the left butt cheek, and I'm going for the fist and tooth specialization, so that's something to keep an eye out for as well. Uh, so what are yours, Josh? Um, I have almost a full so Gorm set. I'm going to pause you for one second. Maelstrom is saying, is there a mixed up set bonus where one of each, so some crazy OP attack? There actually are some mishmashed armor sets in the game, and one of them that we're going for, do we have it yet or no? They're actually all from the Lion Knight. Um, he introduces three mixed armor sets that you do. Nothing that, like, we need to go for, but we we could. I'm talking about the Vagabond armor. Oh, Vagabond armor is a kind of a promo set at the okay. moment. But we are going for that armor set, correct? Yes, we are going for the Vagabond. Stephanie the Vagabond set. set stacks really nicely with the Flower Knight Disorders of Narcissistic and Ghostly Beauty. Well, not really Ghostly Beauty, but Narcissistic because it doesn't allow you to wear head armor. But the Vagabond armor set doesn't have head armor. And that's needed for True Strike Fighting Art? Secret Fighting Art, I believe? True Blade. True Blade and focus. that gives you Sword Mastery. No, the armor set no, gives the you Sword Mastery. The armor set mastery. gives you Sword that's Mastery. That's what it is. And then... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Vagabond is before or after the wall one of the two? It's both of them. Oh, it's both Goodbye. of them? Oh, okay. They both get pieces for it. That's right. Um, so it's a really cool set. Um, but I think it gives you plus three luck when hitting with swords, but you have to have the narcissistic and the... Ghostly beauty. Ghostly beauty disorders for it to trigger. So that stacked with the Vagabond armor set is awesome. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be a fun build. Oh, and we're building the... The Griswoldo. The, oh, the, yeah, that's right. We have the Griswoldo that we're trying to build now. Yeah. And that is the sword from the Green Armor set, which is ridiculous. Yes, yes. And Absolutely that's ridiculous. That's going to be going probably to Twitch, and they're just going to beat everything in. I mean, that's what Twitch likes to do, is they like to beat yes. everything. So I can't really blame you for giving that to them. Um, so I'm just getting my uh, personal armor thing set up right now. Okay. So, my one guy has the uh, Gorm armor set minus the headgear, because we lost that because he got narciss narcissistic. Narcissistic. There you go. Fight had to rip off his headgear. Um, since we can't do a development phase yet between fights, I can't build a new one. I have the resources to do it. I just can't build it. Right. So, he's partially gimped from that. Um, my other guy has the tool belt on with a first aid kit, a lot of green affinities, and a monster grease. So, he's getting plus five evasion from his gear. That's ridiculous. So, he's a dodge tank, and he has three natural evasion. So eight evasion total. So any attack that's two plus accuracy becomes ten. Yes, yes, perfect hit to hit. Yes. Uh, question: When's the next Great Game Hunters? This Friday. Yes. Six p.m. Eastern time, and we're going to be talking about. I we're definitely talking about the Phoenix. I don't think we've determined if we're talking about the. I think we've come to the conclusion that we are going to talk about the Kingsman. I'm not okay, hundred percent. So we're, we might be talking about the Kingsman as well, but we're definitely going to be going over the Phoenix. And just we're going to double up on that just because the Phoenix is not necessarily our favorite monster in the game. The yeah, Altorium is my favorite card probably, though. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so I think we're ready to start off with this hunt, no? Uh, Thank you, Mighty Quan. Thank you, Mighty Quan. We really do appreciate the positive feedback. And if you guys have any suggestions for the podcast as well, we're very open to it because we want to make it the best experience possible for you guys. And, and that's brand new to us. It you, is. You and I were going to go over uh, the stats. Yes. So let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. You should have two armor at every location. Okay. I don't know what your insanity is. So you I have zero. I have two on this, but I believe zero is correct. So I'm going to have you add zero insanity then. Okay. And as a reminder, you have Thrill Seeker and Abyssal Sadist and Propulsion Drive. Just, I'm checking everything as I go because I'm it's individual. Small talk. Uh, no, so we have Propulsion Drive, Abyssal Sadist, and uh, Thrill Seeker, that as well correct. as Anxiety and Absent Seizures. Correct. And we have a Warped Pelvis. Do you still have the Warped Pelvis? I believe so. Yes, the Warped Pelvis is still you there. Fixed our, they fixed the back. the back. Yes, so what does the Warped Pelvis do? I don't recall off the top of my head. That is a very good question. I'm glad that I asked. So warped pelvis. Let me just double check super quick, as quickly as I can at least, and see what that gives you. So warped pelvis is... <laughs> Where are you? Uh, minus one permanent luck. So you guys only have three luck right now. Only. Yeah. Three they luck. They used to have more. Yeah. So... 
Uh, don't bring anyone with kids to the Phoenix fight. Also, don't give, bring anyone young to the Phoenix fight. Or don't bring anyone old to the Phoenix fight. Don't bring fight. anyone that's never gone on a hunt before to the Phoenix fight. Don't bring a savior to the Phoenix fight. And don't bet a Kickstarter on a Phoenix fight. Yeah, about that. <clears throat> Things we have learned streaming KDM. <clears throat> so, Josh, for the setup... I'm going to need all of those super random locations. I need the throne, the balcony, the stage, and the horn. Poor favor. So, just to show, uh, is the card cam up and ready, TP? Uh, not yet, but we were still going over survivor stats. Oh, sorry about so, that. So, um, you looked at the pelvis, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, for the movement, accuracy, and all that fun stuff, what are we at? You have five movement. Um, okay. Two accuracy, mm -hmm. four strength, yeah. five evasion, mm -hmm. three luck, and okay. one speed. So we went down in luck. You did. You are down one in the luck. Okay. And then give me one second. And what is our weapon? Your weapon is the Zambato, and it is a one six six. Awesome. Okay. So we are all up to date. And uh, what was the other question? You want the hand cam? Yep. Hand cam, please. And frame it out for me, too, when you get a second. Give me one second. The board always likes to start going to autofocus. Don't know why. Bring middle-aged Baron folks to the Phoenix fight. Yes. And ageless, I believe it says whenever you gain an age, you can... Elect not, not to. to. do it, so... Technically? Technically, you're gaining an age, so you say, no, I don't want this age. Yeah, didn't we have like seven luck at one point? You had four natural luck, plus you had a lucky charm, plus you had a weapon with deadly, plus the something. But yeah, you had a six or seven luck. And how did you get that much luck? Uh, that's a little bit of our variant. Um... They got one or two luck, I believe. No, just one luck, I believe, from the uh, People of the Twitch variant. And I got two. Which is our pledge system where you guys can elect to bless or curse a survivor which can give them positive or negative bonuses randomly. And uh, you guys happened to roll extraordinarily well on Red Sonia, which gave them plus one to each thing. Uh, so luck included in that. They had another story event that gave them plus luck. Some other stuff. But they got very lucky as well as getting some a good blessing or two under their belt. So you got lucky with their luck? Yes, you got lucky with your luck. Lucky with your luck. So, uh, let me know when the hand cam is ready. Uh, hand cam should be up and ready to go. Uh... <laughs> I have to keep my money uh, till after the KDM Pledge Manager is closed. Then I will subscribe. Well, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get a free sub, so can you do an exclamation point Prime? Uh -huh. That is true. It's just you got lucky eating the beetle for strength, so you got plus an additional strength for that. So you guys have four natural strength, which is great. Yep. Yeah, the options for the Blessing and Curse table are secret, unless you guys happen to keep track of what they were when they happened, because they, there is a set table, but yeah, that is, is table. for us to know completely. But, you know, there might be one person or two that has kept track of everything. You never know. Hand cam. Yes, sorry, I, meant to, I didn't want to interrupt you. It is good to go. Okay, so uh, the uh, status cards, or terrain cards, from the Lion Knight. Oh, that one is still flickering. Did you lower the brightness on that? Nope. Okay. Okay. This one already died. Battery, so. probably. Oh, did it? Yep. Yeah. Um, it's probably the battery. I'm just going to... Yeah, shut it off. So we have the stage, which is while the villain is on the stage, they ignore the effects of being doomed. We have the balcony, which is while the damsel is standing on the balcony, the monster gains minus one speed. Uh, the horn, which is for an action, you can gain the priority target token. Archive this terrain tile. Use this only if you're the fool. And then the throne, which is if the ruler is standing on the throne at the beginning of their act, all survivors gain plus one survival. Well, that's nice. A way for us to get some bonus stuff, which is surprising because it's not available on the first line night, so the bonus items kind of make him easier the second go around. I'm curious to see how he is on this final go through. Uh, you want to go over trait cards? Sure. So, what trait cards does the line night have? We have Outburst, which is target loses one survival, exchange their roll card with the villain, discard any unresolved AI cards, and perform a basic action. Then we have Zeal. 
Zeal is at the end of each monster turn, perform a basic action. Oh, thank you, Tex Wall. Thank you. So three left until our giveaway now. Yes. Uh, drama lessons. At the start of the showdown, the Lion Knight gains plus one speed token if the settlement has black mask or plus one damage token if we have the white mask. And Josh, do we have the black mask or the white mask? I think we have the black one. Um, Matt. Yes. Put an extra card there so you don't lose your spot. Yeah, I probably could. I'll do a pencil. How about that? No, because you're going to take the pencil and write it at some point. No. no, we have the black mask. The black mask. So the monster is going to get plus one uh, speed token. And then finally we have last act. When the villain dies, instead of ending the showdown, archive a random survivor's roll card. The survivor then becomes the villain. So we don't automatically finish when the villain dies now. Yeah, we fight to the end. Interesting. Oh, thank you, Texwell. Oh, cool, thank you. So those are all the status cards and the terrain cards that we're going to be dealing with. So I'm going to set those up on the board, and then it's time for us to get started. Or do we have to do places, please? Places everyone first. Yes, places everyone first. Okay, so places everyone. Suddenly, three more figures appear, stirring up a commotion. Despite the whirlwind of activity around it, the Lion Knight remains still. With exacting haste, two women make a clearing in the settlement around the Lion Knight, while a third writes disinterestedly in a massive ancient tome. An array of ornate, unidentifiable props and costumes is pulled out of a dark armoire and meticulously arranged around a makeshift stage. Survivors must depart the settlement phase for a special showdown with the Lion Knight. Choose departing survivors now and nominate them to take the stage. So TP, when you get a chance, we need a D10 to be rolled, and that is gonna be our roll for take the stage. So as soon as TP puts that in the chat, it is going to be whoever rolls the D10 first. And again, that's exclamation mark D10. And what is this for, TP? One second. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. I did say that we'll reveal... Ooh, a two. two. Yeah, that's probably not good. Do we have nominate someone or not? Uh, no, it just says nominate okay. departing survivor. So I'll read that in one second. Um, I did say that we'll reveal options for the sub only giveaway. Okay. Uh, with every sub that we get tonight. So the first option that will be um, a choice in the sub only giveaway, Battle Monkey. I do love Battle Monkeys. Battle Monkeys was created by Endless Spiral. Uh, Brandon Lasseter is super nice. Uh, we did a how to play on it or spotlight on it, and I'll link over that uh, YouTube video in a second, and I'll let Matt continue with the story. So actually, it's not as bad as I thought. As they approach the stage, the nominated survivor with the highest hunt XP, so that is going to be Queen Anna. No, it's going to be Narfalix. Oh, Narfalix coming There's out. a reason why I brought Narfalix. Oh. Well, suddenly feels the gaze of innumerable eyes and is overcome by paralyzing fright. If possible, choose another survivor to replace the frightened one. So Narfalik is scared and doesn't want to come on the fight. Hmm. Well, how much age do you have with Queen with Anna? With Queen Anna, I have six, seven, eight. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we do have to bring someone else. Narfalik hides in the corner. <laughs> you want you ready for the pun here? Mm -hmm. I do do that on a daily basis. You get it? You get it? You, you, you get it? Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, ha. Yeah. I'll bring for cold. Uh, Four point twist, twist Gaming one or at Twist Gaming, are you still doing KDM themed giveaways when we hit the mark during the show? Yes. For our tip giveaways, yes. we're doing KDM themed for during the show, and we do have a couple of white boxes left, promo white boxes. So that is going to be our giveaways for the KDM stream for at least the first giveaway, mm -hmm. and the subscriber giveaway is going to be a, an option between multiple games, accessories, different things that we have. Um, we can throw in some KDM, but it will not necessarily be only KDM stuff. Is there a terrible pun count now? There should be. There should be. I'm excited. I hope there is. I can only do the giggle star count or that. I don't know if I can do two counters. I'm sure you could. You're a smart boy, Josh. Figure it out. All right, so that's places, everyone. And it is time for us to start up the showdown. So I need to set up the board. So Josh, you want to talk a little bit about the Lion Knight and what it was like last time and how we got boned the first time we fought him this time and 
So Lion Knight normally is, if he kills the villain, he wins. And we had like one hit left. I kind of went in with the villain just to try to get that one hit. It didn't work. And then he killed the villain the next turn. And we were all very sad. And we didn't have Surge. That's so all we needed was Surge. Yeah. We could have done it. Um, then the level two, when he came back to town, we beat him up. We didn't have an issue. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> so hopefully it'll be like that. Um, Stat-wise for him, <laughs> the Lion Knight. He starts with nine movement, 15 toughness. That's not that bad. Plus one strength, plus one damage. He gets another... Or plus one speed, plus one damage. He gets another plus speed token because of... The Black Mask. The Black Mask. Uh, so we need to pass out the roll cards right now. So let's see what everyone's rolls are. What's up, TP? You gotta look. Ah, I could not figure out what was this thing right under you. Oh, that's the, the, yeah, the stage. And I'm just like, what? It looks like a mouth, but I don't understand where it is. And I'll trade with you. That sounds delightful. Alright, so for Cold is the ruler. Dura Blitz is the uh, fool. Uh, Queen Anna is the damsel. And uh, Twitch is the villain. Ooh, Twitch, you guys are the villain. So that means the Lion Knight's going to be coming after you. Uh -oh. um, by the way, we get six, seven, eight, nine survival for departing with a max of 12. Four games is hosting us. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So, I have max survival of 12. TP, you should have max survival of 12 now. Awesome. And our tactics card, there we go, is the lance formation. So, while the survivors are standing in this formation, the survivor in the magenta position, so that's the person in the front middle, gains plus two speed, plus two strength. And that's meh. Oh, and they should actually have some glass there. Josh is mumbling again. Actually, I don't have any more. Oh. I mean, I need to make monster grease support, which because there's no reason to have the drum anymore. Gotcha. All right, so we need to set up on the board. So Twitch is the villain. So where should the villain set up? Everyone gets uh, plus one insanity for on the drum. Okay. Plus one insanity. Why is it making that noise? Because you don't have window sounds muted. I need to do that. Yes, you do. All right, so we have the throne. So who's the ruler? Uh, the ruler is uh, Foretold 4.0. And what color is that character? Um, that would be our blue character. So blue, I'm going to have them over here. One, two. And then who is the damsel? Uh, you're the damsel. Of course I am. So I'm going to start myself up over here. One, two. Uh, Twitch, I'm going to have them start over here. One, two. And Josh, I'm going to have you with your tanky character over there. And that should be good. So I'll move and this book over here for now. I lost all my wisdom. <clears throat> all right. So I think we're ready to begin. And we go first, correct? Yes, we do. Just to confirm. <laughs> the survivors go first. Yep. Okay. So, we get to go first. Who is going first? I'm assuming we want Twitch to go first to try and knock him down. Oh, uh, Wisdom Potion. So the oh, top hit location potion. card is face up, and does it have a good crit location on it? Oh, um, yes, Curse of the TP. Thank you so yes. much, Shatton. Uh, so I am out, and Twitch is out. I always forget the Curse of the TP. We do. Mm -hmm. It's appropriate, though. All right, so what does the ruler get to do with... So also, FYI, TP, mm -hmm. you and I both also have Left Cheek Obsession, so that means that we both are going to get minus two accuracy, minus two strength when we attempt to wound anywhere but the left butt cheek. Because the left cheek is, is the bed cheek. Is the, is, ugh, the, is the bed cheek? Is the bed cheek. Is the bed cheek. Yes. The left cheek is the bed cheek, guys. <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, right. Josh, it, it turns into the Josh show for the first round, essentially. Um, can I get within range with my guy? What do you mean? 
Am I within five spaces of him, or...? One, two, three, four, five. You oh. certainly are. All right, let's move the uh, fool up into his butt. And... <laughs> wow. <laughs> right <laughs> into the butt. Which one is the fool? Uh, fool the one going the inside one. someone's butt. That is the fool. The green guy. Uh, how does the curse of TP affect this fight? The villain is out. It's out for a round. They'll come out later, so... If anything says target the villain, it goes to the next step. Yeah. And for this fight, it doesn't matter. The villain can die, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter It doesn't really much. break it that much. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you're going to go and punch him in the right butt cheek. And what are you attacking with, Josh? Oh, uh, my shield. Your Fetosaurus. Yes. Which is fantastic. Which is the shield from the green armor set. Yeah. So, two speed, I hit on a five plus. Four plus, because I'm in the blind spot. So, a four and a three. So, one hit. That was a particularly bad roll, Josh. All right, so, so you are attacking the Noble Breastplate. He's got 15 toughness. How much strength do you have? My weapon has 9. I have 2 natural strength. So that's 11. So you need so a 11. 3 plus. So I need a 3 plus. 5. Oh, 5. That's a wound. Uh, this has a failure location, so you're good to go. All right. <clears throat> Better to go into someone's butt than vice versa, I suppose. Yes. I mean, different strokes for different folks. That is accurate. Okay, so Josh, what are you doing um, now? I will uh, spend a survival to attack again. So you're surging. So I'm surging. Okay. So I'm going down to 11 survival. That plus. Spaceballs reference. Across his butt. Not, you rolled a 4 and a 3 again? Yes. I don't know. Okay, so you're attacking the Valiant Buckle. This has a reflex location. That's a wound. Uh, so cancel this reaction if the attacker has any noisy gear in their gear grid. I don't. Turn the Lion Knight to face the attacker and move one space backwards. So that moved him out of range of your other character. My other character has minus two movement while you're the ruler, so... Out of range anyway? Yeah. Um, so I would... he did do another wound, though, so that's a nice thing. Yes. I did do another one. I'm sorry, how many AI cards does he have? Uh, he starts with all his AI cards. How many is that? Uh, which is 12 basic, eight, uh, 9 advanced, so that's... 21? 21. Yeah, so he has 22 health. 22 health. That's impressive. All right. So... Uh, so what are you doing with your other character, Josh? I'm seeing if I want to attack with... Stuff and things. With my pickaxe. Can you even reach him? If I dash... If you dash, you could just reach him. I could just reach him. Uh, I'm going to get knocked back seven, though. And then you won't be able to get him next turn, unless he moves. But then he moves after me. So it might be beneficial. Maybe. This is the guy with, like, a shit ton of evasion. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. I will go here. I will dash. So you spend your one survival to dash. You still have a ton of survival. Uh, I have uh, two speed with my bone axe. I hit on a five plus. Okay. A nine and a four. You're rolling very bad today. One hit. So, stage fright. S stage fight, I'm sorry. Stage fight. Okay. I have... Thanks for the reminder for that, Anne. Three yeah. strength. So you have three strength. He's got 15 toughness. Yes. So you need to roll a 10. I also get to... Ha I have sharp. It's sharp. Okay. So three plus four. That's seven. Seven. So you so need, need to roll an eight plus. An eight or higher. A four. So you miss. You're rolling a lot of fours today. Yes. Time to change up the dice. So, Reflex, the attacker loses two armor points at a random hit location. I have no armor. Okay. Uh, if they are adjacent to the monster, they suffer knockback seven. Full move the Lion Knight towards the attacker. If your wound attempt failed, place this card back on top of the hit location deck instead of into the discard pile. All right. So, let's go back. And then he has a full movement of nine, so he's going to walk right up next to me. So, would you like to surge, Josh? And try that again? You could. Sure. <clears throat> so Josh is going to surge and attempt that one more time. I feel like if you had better rolls, that would have gone a lot better for you. 
Just roll better. Just roll better. A one and a seven. One hit. One hit. Could use the white die. Oh, the weighted white die of winning. So you have three natural strength coupled with an eight. So that's, that's 11. 11. So you need so. to roll a four plus now. A ten. Right, there we there go. There you go. So uh, you still lose two ar- armor points to random hit location. Which I don't have. You have no armor, so that's acceptable. And you suffer knockback seven, full move the line knight towards the attacker. So that goes away. You wounded the monster. So you need to deal. Yes. Oh, you did, okay. Yeah, so it monster. is now the monster's turn. Josh, you are monster controller with, I'm assuming, the other character. The other character. Yeah, you always start with that one. Um, all right. Monster's turn, and he is going to do Jealous Rage. So closest survivor to Damsel. Damsel's not in. Okay. Then closest survivor. Okay. The next one. So it's going to attack you. It is four speed, two plus accuracy, two damage. So he's got his plus two speed. No, so it's a six speed, two plus accuracy, for three damage. He's got one damage token, correct? Yes, he's one damage. Okay, so for three damage. However, you have how many evasion? I have six evasion total. I thought you had more. He got kicked out of the fight. Narflek. Oh, that was Narflek. Yeah. Oh, so six evasion total. This is going to be an eight plus to hit you. So you roll a two 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 nine nine nine. What the hell is with your rolls today, Josh? I, I don't know. So three misses, three hits. All right. You're gonna die. I might. Foot foot foot. Really? He's in my foot. What the <laughs> hell is wrong with your rolls today? Like seriously? Oh no. All right. How much damage is each one? Uh, each one's gonna be three damage. So that's three severe injuries on the foot. I could dodge one of them. Yeah, I would recommend dodging one of them. <sighs> Josh might die right here. With, yeah, good job, Josh. Just good, good job. Eight and a one. Yeah, so we know what the one is. Do you have a reroll? Yeah, I have a reroll. You might want to reroll that one. Eight, two, two eights. eights. Why are you doubling up everything? I don't know. Broken leg, an ear-shattering crunch. Adjacent survivors suffer one brain damage. Minus one permanent movement. This injury is permanent and can be recorded twice. He just broke both of your legs. So you get two bleeding tokens, too. So I, I have three movement now? Yeah, you have three movement. With two broken legs. Wait, didn't he have minus permanent movement already? He has minus two movement with the roller card. So he's got one movement. So he's got one movement right now. Uh... I don't... Sometimes Josh does great things. This is not one of those times. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. Stop. Wait, did I miss something? You missed something. What did I miss? What did I miss? There has been a reward redeemed. Oh, really? Who's putting on a onesie? What? Summon the unicorn! <laughs> Alright. So that's the end Thank of that. you, Tekka! <laughs> Are you going to redeem Revelo points for that now? Yeah. <laughs> I'll put that on a second. Uh, let's finish up that round. Okay. So I so, got two broken legs. Yeah, you get two broken legs. Then full move the Lion Knight through the damsel. If there's no damsel, turn the monster to face away from the target and full move forward. Any survivors passed over, suffer grab. All right. So then, at the end of every White Lion, or Lion Knight's turn, he's going to do a basic action. Right? Okay. So, yeah. basic action is he's going to target the villain. No target, catwalk. So he's going to catwalk. What's the back of the card say? That has a catwalk, catwalk text on it. Ew. Catwalk. The Lion Knight full moves towards the villain and the monster's turn. So he's going to stay where he is, right? Yeah. Okie doke. Alright. Josh is going to go get changed. Yeah, I'm going to get changed. Uh, you guys up here on the board now. Yeah. Which sucks. I wish that he didn't move because... Yeah, he, he was, was in a nice spot. Yeah, he was in a great spot. <clears throat> um, so we're going to reappear right now, TP. I like that. So I'm the damsel. And the nice thing about being the damsel is that if I go onto the balcony... Let me just pull this card here. If I go onto the balcony, mm-hmm. then... 
the monster suffers minus one speed. So it's going to roll one less attack die. So, since the rules... Uh, also, someone's asking about Amazon Prime. Yeah. Okay. Um, the rules for uh, Curse of TP is we appear on any board edge at the start of our second turn. So I'm going to make myself spawn on the balcony. Can you snipe him there? Yeah. Then you should have TP spawn next to you. Maybe he'll react and run up to you. Yeah. So I'm going to have TP spawn next to me on the balcony as well. And I'm going to take this opportunity to snipe him with the uh, Vespertine Bow. What's the uh, next hit location card, though? Ooh, that is a good point. The next hit location card is the Valiant Paldron, uh, which, yep, yeah, if I wound him, he's going to move three spaces towards me. So, perfect. So, I'm going to snipe him with the Sniper Bow. Now, I do have Curse of uh, Left Cheek Obsession, so I get minus two accuracy. But I get plus four accuracy for sniping, so it's plus two accuracy, so it's a four plus. I have one natural accuracy, so it's a three plus, and then I have the cycloid scale jacket activated, so it's a two plus. So two plus hits, and I get to reroll my misses. I rolled a six, that's a hit. So I get to attack the Valiant Paldron. So uh, he's got 15 toughness. You get minus two strength because of... Yeah, I get minus two strength because of... Oh, Congo Sia. Thank you, Congo Sia. Sia, is that... Thank you for the subscription. So two more until giveaway time. Two more. Two more. And uh, with that, I have promised... One second, let me give him the bonus points. Okay. So I now am going to do some math. Um, he's got 15. I have six, but minus two, so that's four. I have four natural strength, so that's eight. Uh, so seven plus. I also have plus two strength because of my green gloves. Those are activated, so that's ten. So I need to roll a five plus. Okay. Uh, yeah, five plus. And then I also have no natural luck, but I have deadly and a luck charm. Okay. So I'm going to crit on an eight, nine, ten. Four. Four is a hit. A wound, right? Because it was a ten. No, it's not. It's not. You're one short. Well, that's disappointing. Plus two. So it's six, seven, eight. Uh, plus, that's 12. twelve. Minus two, so that's ten. So four, that's fourteen. That is not enough. So I needed to roll a five plus. So I'm going to miss that. Um, so he doesn't run towards me. Unfortunately. So what's the next card on top? What is the um, reflex on that? Oh, shouldn't that have been on top, Josh? No, we hit that card. I hit it. Oh, did you? There's uh, another one? The, yeah, there's another one. Oh, yeah. Um, so do you want me to... two armor. Try to trigger armor? that. I do, I do have armor. Weird and then armor. if they are adjacent, you suffer knockback, then full move the Y knight towards the attacker. So he'll move towards you. Right, and he can't grab me, right? No, he won't. He wouldn't grab you. So, do I have a second? Yeah, go ahead. The second option for our sub-only giveaway: Evil Genius Death Ray. Woo! Courtesy of Vile Genius Games and Santa Mark. Is that with an expansion pack? Do we have an expansion Could pack? Could be. Could be. Might be a defiled vile deck. Yeah, it's fine. That means it got ran over because Mark can't drive. But it's extra things. So <laughs> it's not that he can't drive. He doesn't have to pack his car. Yes, tomato, tomato. Mark is very generous. He's given us yes, he quite is. a bit of evil genius. So there. definite shout out to Mark. Thank you very much. I'm surprised he's not in here gambling. I am surprised too. So I think we'll, we'll give five options for the sub only giveaway this time. Sounds good. All right. So I'm going to snipe him again. So two plus to snipe. Oh, I spend my one survival. I'm at 11 now. Oh boy, whatever shall I do? A nine. Uh, so that's a hit. So I'm attacking the stage fight. So all the stuff happens right now. A six. That's a wound. It's a wound. A reflex. I lose two armor to a random hit location. So I'm going to lose two body armor. I only had two body armor. Then he's going to... If they are adjacent, I suffer knockback seven. 
full move the Lion Knight towards the attacker. Okay, so he's going to full move towards me. He's going to go there. That gets discarded. You did the wound, Josh? Yep. And now, Twitch, I set you guys up so you can go and hit him in the butt cheek. Left cheek, best cheek? You're welcome. What? Do they still have a momentum drive? They do have momentum drive. So, you guys can move one, two, three, four, five spaces. However, that will not put you in the left cheek, and that's where you want to hit. So, my recommendation... They're doomed. Why are they doomed? They're the villain. They are oh, doomed. I forget that you're doomed when you're the villain. So, we're going to have you run to the butt. Unfortunately, you won't be attacking the left cheek. It'll be the right cheek, so you're going to get some negative status effects because of it. But, you know. So, you're going to run back here, into the butt... You're going to get plus one token on your momentum drive. So Josh, needed a token for that. And you're going to attack with your Zambato. So TP, I need you to have one D10 rolled. And thanks to Swallow. I missed the notification, but thanks to Swallow has followed us. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thanks to Swallow. Thanks to Swallow. So the first D10 that is rolled after TP puts this message in is going to work. Oh, you guys are getting a little roll happy. You gotta wait till the message. I don't blame them. You never know when it can come through. That's true. You got a three. three. So you guys have minus two accuracy, plus two accuracy, so those two cancel out. Uh huh. Six plus on the Zambato, plus, plus one for the weapon proficiency, plus one for the blind, blind spot. spot, and that's it. So you guys do not hit. Oh. It would have been a four plus. Now, can we search to go again? No, because you are doomed, you cannot surge. So that unfortunately will be the end of our turn there. Oh. What? That. Use words. If you surge to attack, the Lionite targets you and performs outburst at the end of your attack. Oh, so wait, hold on. Hold on. We gotta rewind for a little bit here. So he's gonna perform outburst against me. <clears throat> so what outburst is, is I lose one survival. And then I exchange the roll card with the villain. Ooh, so that means that we are no longer the villain. So I'm the villain. Um, discard any unresolved AI cards, perform a basic action, then end the Lion Knight's turn. She's going to do a basic action against me right now. Okay. Which is? Two speed, because the uh, back when this was happening, the damsel was standing on the balcony. Yeah, okay. So we're going to just redo their move. Yeah. Um, all right, so... No, it's basic action is four, five, six speed. Oh, God. So it's going to be five speed? Yeah, five speed. Five speed. And it's two plus accuracy. I have no evasion. Yeah, no evasion. Oh, what do I have natural on? Evasion. What's the accuracy on it? Uh, two plus. Oh, God. So it's a three plus. So everything hits me. Yeah, you have five hits. And I can't dodge. Because I'm the villain. I might be dead. So that attacked the body, the body, the head, the hand, and the hand. So do we get another shot, or did you... Yeah, you get another shot. Yeah, you'll get your whole... So the body, the body, the hand, the hand, and the head. Mailshin says dash and turn around before that, <clears throat> Matt. So TP can stay on the balcony and in the left cheek. I can't. Because I am the villain now, so I have... I'm doomed. You're doomed. Yeah. Kind of like my life. Thanks. So, let's see. How much damage is each one? Three. Three damage. So, the body, I had zero armor. So, I'm going to take two severe body injuries. Yeah, I'm going to die. Uh, then the two hands, I had five hand armor. So, I'm actually not going to take any hand damage and then the head I have two head armor so I'm going to take a heavy hit to the head so I have to roll two severe body injuries All right, and you're knocked down yeah but I'll probably not get up again I'm probably going to be dead so my two severe injuries I rolled oh, a 10 and an 8 you're, you're okay I'm perfectly fine oh, I wouldn't go that far so I have a broken rib Suffer minus one permanent speed. This injury is permanent and can be recorded multiple times. Gain a bleeding token. So I get a broken rib. 
then the 10 is bowled over. You are knocked down. The blow sends you sprawling. So, I'm fine. I just got a broken rib. Yay, mishmash armor set. So that is the end of my turn. So TP, now is the beginning of your turn. You can now spend a survival to dash. Okay. So you can reach the left cheek. And I can make it so you get there in a way that would give you two tokens on your momentum drive. Ooh. So we're going to go ahead and roll a d10 to see if we spend a survival. Or gain a survival back. Correct. Uh, it's a six, so we gain a survival back. Right. Plus one. Plus one. But we're already at max of twelve. Yep. Yeah. So you're going to you're going to dash into the left cheek. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Uh, well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. So we are in the left cheek. And so you guys need to roll a d10 to attack with your Zambato. And as a reminder, you are the Z- the damsel, so you are no longer doomed. So you can surge. But if you surge, you will become the villain again. And you'll get attacked. And you'll get attacked. All right, so hopefully we'll just do a really good hit with this one. Right. Okay. Uh, so we're going to roll a d10? Correct. Oh, that's two. This, I think you're okay, though. Two hits, then. Because two they hits. don't have the yes. minus two. Because you're in the left cheek. Oh, because it was four before. Right. And now that we don't have a knight and minus two. Correct. So ah. you're attacking his biting spleen. Yes. So I need you to roll a d10 for your wound check here. Okay. And it is going to be six. Uh, six. You guys have three luck. Uh-huh. And the weapon is deadly. So that's four luck. So that's a crit. It's a crit? Yeah. What's crit say? So the crit is the lion knight is flabbergasted. The attacker gains the priority target token. If the attacker is the fool, the monster gains plus one damage token. You are not the fool. He does not gain the damage token, but you are the priority target, which means you're going to get attacked next. Yeah, I think Josh is not happy because of the unicorn outfit. It's the, uh, the hood is a little tight. It's because your head is big. Crazy? Yeah, I know. (laughs) (laughs) And plus one. Uh, I love it when I make Matt LOL because, uh, laugh out loud, because he's the master of the bad puns, so. Sure, we'll go with that. So. Bad jokes. <clears throat> since you guys are going to be attacked anyways, no, nah, I, I wouldn't surge if I was then. Oh, they, the monster's knocked down, too. Monster is knocked down. So, because you guys crit it, the monster is knocked down. But if they surge, he will get back up to do outburst. Ah, so... Oh, that is definitely not the least good crit hit spot ever. No, uh, there, there's... There's much worse than Much that. worse. Not all crits are good. Did you do the damage for it, Josh? And yes. it is devastating. Yes, I did the extra okay. damage too. So, can you dash with this guy to get and beat him with your Fetosaurus? I could. I would recommend doing that. All right, let me dash. Okay, so Josh is going to spend his survival and dash over to the monster so he can bash it in the face with his shield. And he's knocked down, so you hit on a 3+, plus, and you rolled a 2 and a 9, so one hit again. So you're attacking the Valiant Buckle, so Josh, I need you to roll a d10. Uh, Question on that villain swap card on surges. Can someone else surge in response to the surge so a faraway character becomes a villain? If you have a... K- it's not... It's only specifically the damsel. Ah. Yeah. And yeah, you could only surge on your turn when it's the survivor's action. No, no, you can no. surge whenever you're in the survival's turn. You can surge in the monster's turn, too. Okay. It's just um, it's just the damsel action that does it. Um, so I have the fool here, which I can actually uh, do it myself as an activation. It's not when I surge that happens. It's... Matic Kex, thank you so much for following. We really thank you. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, it's Lucy saying he also appreciates it. Exactly. Okay, so... Roll the five. You have nine strength. Eleven strength. On your shield. Yeah. Plus two natural strength. Yeah. So that's a wound. It's a wound. And there is no reflex because the monster's knocked down. Would you like to surge to go again? I would recommend doing that. 
Um, yeah, let's do it again. My understanding is the rules say that when it's a specific survivor's turn, another survivor can't do things. I gotta check the rules exactly for the wording. We'll see. Uh, again, a five and a one. One hit. Your rolls are awful this day. <clears throat> Team losing. <laughs> so, stage fight. Attacker loses two armor points at a random location, but that doesn't matter because oh, it's, 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 yeah, it's a reflex. So, you need to roll a d10 to see if you wound. A four. That is a wound. That's a wound. Screw so, the line. There you go. You know, this would we would be so much better off right now if you actually would have been hitting like you could be hitting. I know. Just letting you know. <clears throat> so, Josh, can you do anything with your other character or no? <laughs> can you move yeah. one spot forward? <laughs> <laughs> so why is Josh getting a surge to attack when TP didn't get to? Because TP could not surge to attack before... Uh, because she was the villain. Each of us has a different roll card, which this is something unique to the, the Lion Knight fight. Uh, so the villain card specifically states, states that you are always doomed. You so you cannot... Damsel's card. So you cannot uh, spend survival to do mm -hmm. anything. So for the damsel here, it's you are not a threat. You cannot gain priority target. Actually, so wait, they can't gain the priority target. Oh, Okay. Uh, if you surge to attack, the Lion Knight targets you and then performs outburst. You okay there, TP? Okay. No, yeah, my, my Very aggressive foot scratch there. The thing made me. So, no, she's not the villain because she did not surge. You guys only attacked. She was the villain I before. was the villain, and then Matt surged as the damsel, becoming the villain. Yep. And then we became the damsel. Right. Okay, so... She should have surged before you did, Matt. The lion wasn't near. Well, she couldn't. Well, she was. Wait. And no. she couldn't surge because she, she was couldn't the surge because she was the villain. And also, the lion wasn't adjacent to them. Right. By me surging, I was the damsel, so I took the villain status card off of her, and she became the damsel. So I didn't have the ability to surge until you surged. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is the end of our turn because that's all we can really do. Yep. So it is. Uh, for Cold's turn to be the monster controller. And the monster is going to stand up. And he is going to do left swipe. So closest threat facing in range. I'm not a threat. Yep. Closest threat facing. He's the only one facing. And it's closest survivor in range. Alright, so that would be either me or... Twi I will twitch. I will take it, I guess. Right, so you'd want to take it because you are the tank. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Correct. She couldn't... Well, now we didn't want her to surge because the monster would stand up. And attack her. Right. And then her surging would make her become the villain again. Yeah. Right. It's... it's Lionite's complicated. complicated. Uh, right now, I am the fool. So, the monster's going to attack you with five speed, two plus accuracy for three damage, Josh. And one more die. Um, so five speed. Five speed, two plus accuracy for two damage. I'm getting a phone call. I this might three be. Vision. Do you want to take this? Uh, no. Okay. I have three evasion, so it's going to be five plus. Uh, three evasion, five plus. Yes. Um, it specifically says Shatten on the card that the monster then performs outburst. So. Okay. Outburst is only triggered when the damsel does it. Yes, there you go, Kipling. Damsel surging makes the Lionite stand up and do a basic action targeting the damsel because the damsel is now the villain. Yep. No, I'm just winning the competition, why worry? Um, I'm gonna roll, I, I used the surge action to put on my shield since it's a new round. Mm -hmm. So I blocked two up. You rolled fantastically there. So you missed three of them. Got hit you hit two. two of them. You blocked both of them. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you so you. much, Super Jedi so Dude. So we are one subscriber away from our subscriber-only giveaway. Uh, that means, hang on, uh, Super Jedi Dude gets 500 extra Revlo points to use however uh, he chooses. 
And then I'm going to go reveal another giveaway item for the sub-only giveaway winner to choose from. Very good. Hmm. So while TP picks that out, uh, the Lion Knight uh, doesn't do anything else then. Well, now he's going to do his basic action. So now he's going to target the villain, which is you, which is me. This is no bueno. So he's going to turn around and attack me. Wait, hold on. Where's his basic action card? Right here. Uh, so it is pick target villain. Okay. So even though I'm, I was in the blind spot, it still targets me. You want to do... Uh... Right, Josh? Yeah. Okay. Still targets you because it's just a straight up villain. So he, you are going to attack me now. I have one natural evasion and that's it. I'm... So it's speed of five, hits on a three plus. Yep. The, no, the, the, the boxy. Go down there. Use your words, please. Use your to, to the right. Uh, if you, no, next one. Yeah, that one. Okay, you can't surge during another person's turn. So, like, now TP can surge. Maelstrin is saying to... Do, yeah. So, the next giveaway item choice is Hex Casters. Ooh. And that is Curcio. Hasbro. Hasbro. Oh. I believe we got this at BGGCon. Oh, okay. So uh, we got a lot of games when we went to BGGCon and we just decided all of them are giveaway stuff. Sounds good. Uh, so that's four hits, Matt. <sighs> Josh is really trying to kill Three me. sixes, a ten, and a two. Hand, foot, body. Oh, one more. Hand, foot, body, foot. Hand, foot, body, foot. So... Hand. How much damage is each one? Uh, three. So I'm going to take a severe hand injury. Okay. I'm going to take a severe leg injury. Two severe leg injuries. No, one severe leg injury. Hand, foot, body, foot. Hand, foot. So, okay. So then a severe body injury. A severe arm injury, body injury, and leg injury. Okay. There we go. So what should I roll first, Josh? Let me do the leg first. A nine. Bloody thighs. Gain two bleeding tokens. Oh, with that, yeah. I'm currently at three bleeding tokens, so more than likely I'm going to die from blo from bleeding right now. I foretell Matt's, Matt's death soon. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to do the body. Um, there we go, the head of 13. So now it's time for our giveaway. Right the second? Well, no. no. I mean, we're going to be doing um, our giveaway. We're definitely going to be doing the sub-only giveaway tonight. Uh, you don't have to be here. Just a heads up, we uh, do ask any international um, winners to contribute 50% because international shipping can get a little expensive when we're doing a couple giveaways a week. Um, if you decide that you don't want any of the options but you've won, um, we'll figure out something else to yeah. compensate you for. And then we'll pick another winner. So, uh, I rolled a one, but I still had my reroll. So I rerolled and I rolled a four. So a four is gaping chest wound. Suffer minus one permanent strength. This injury is permanent and can be recorded multiple times. Gain a bleeding token. So gaping chest wound. So now I need to roll my final severe injury, which is gonna be my hands. A three. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. I have bled out and died. Are you worth saving? Uh, Major Dodo is hosting us. Thank you so much, Major Dodo. We love Major Dodo. Hang on. Um, so... What do you mean am I worth saving? I have a reroll. There you... I'm, no. The only thing I could roll is a ten. No, you had three No, I had four. Oh, you had four? I had one from before. I gave you the one from before. Yeah, oh, it's, it's... it's under there still. Oh, okay. So you're dead. I'm dead. Queen Anna has died. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. And the villain's dead. So since the villain's dead, last act happens. When the villain dies, instead of ending the showdown, archive a random survivor's roll card. So uh, give me all the ball. How about we now we'll roll it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is a reroll. TP, so, oh, damn, that sucks. 
So the damsel's going away. And that means that TP is the villain again. Oh, I did something here. Yeah. So TP, you guys are the villain. So you are now doomed again. And, Josh, I would recommend you getting the villain away from them. They have a ton of evasion, so, like... Not the worst thing in the world. And was that his basic action that killed you? Yes, that was the basic okay. action that killed you. So, that is the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. So, I'll just be doing the narration, I guess, now. I can give you foretold. You can move one space at a time. No, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, can you remove your character from the board, please? Yeah, I can remove my character from the board. Alright, so... Who wants to... I think Twitch should go first here to try and... Or is that a super dense location? Uh, no, it's a parry location, so you need to credit. Oh, that's fantastic. My green gloves give me plus six luck on parry locations. I know. <sighs> well, TP is the luck monster. She is, so... So I just want to take a second and reveal another option. Okay. The sub only giveaway. Go for it. Uh, Meteor by Mike Young. Cool. This is another Mayday game. Games. Mayday Games? Yes, it is Mayday Games. Uh, this is another game that we got courtesy of BGGCon. Thanks to the guys at BGGCon, and thanks to Mayday Games for donating it to BGGCon. Absolutely. So we're excited to be doing that giveaway, and we are still $63 away from our uh, tip giveaway. Which is open to everyone! Everybody. 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 All right, so TP, we're going to have you go first. Do we want to have them make a circle? They might as well. There's no reason for them not to. They can't... Uh, I mean, they, they go once. If they want. Actually, you know what would be best? Is them to hit and then run to the stage. Uh, because on the stage, they can't actually... They're oh, not they're not anymore. doomed. You're right. So, so TP, we're going to have you hit the monster once. And then run away. So we need you to roll a d10. So the first person to roll a d10 after you post the message is going to count. And it's going to be a 2 plus for you guys to hit. So not terribly difficult. But now I probably just jinxed us. And they're going to roll a 1. Hit that ass. It's a five. 5. That's a hit. So Josh, can you draw that location? And we need you to roll for the wound check. And this is a parry location. So unless you crit it, he is... It doesn't work. Is it a, a does it six crit? A six is a crit. Yes. So, uh, is this fight real? Gain plus three insanity. And I just realized something. Oh. Uh, they have Abyssal Sadist. So last time around, you also should have gained an insanity. So you're going to gain five insanity right now. You said plus three, and then you said you should have gained one last time. And this time as well, for Abyssal Sadist. So whenever you wound a monster the first time for an attack, you gain plus two survival, plus one insanity for you. Oh, okay. So I gained one last time, one for hitting this time, and then three... For the crit. For the crit. Okay, so that is a total of five. We already have one, so it is going up to six. And your survival should be full. Yes, it is. It is and seven. so now you're going to move to the center of the ring. One, two, three, four, five. And what that means is when you are in the ring, when you're the villain, you are no longer doomed. Yes. So you get one more token on your momentum drive. So Josh, if you can give me a token for that. <clears throat> and that is the end of your turn right now. Hopefully... Oh, and the Lion Knight is knocked down because yes. you did crit him. And you did two damage, Josh? Yes, I did two damage. From the Devastating. So now, if you can please smack him up with your Griswoldo. Not Griswoldo, Fetosaurus. I'm going to move this guy up first. Oh. One spot. Oh, boy. Um, What's the, the thing for the, the ruler? When um, you're on the throne. On the throne... Uh, all survivors gain plus one survival at the beginning of my act. Oh, boy. So I gain survival. Um, and I can exchange my role with someone adjacent to me. Okay. So, right. time to smack him with your Fetosaurus. Yeah. So he's knocked down, so a three plus is going to hit. Seven and a five. You hit two times! I'm so proud of you. It's the trap card. <laughs> so funny. I love it. <laughs> All survivors are doomed. Each player passes their survivor's roll card as they would pass the monster controller. So TP is no longer the villain. TP, you are now the ruler. And as the ruler, you have minus two movement, which absolutely sucks for your propulsion drive. 
Uh, it also allows you to exchange roll cards with a survivor adjacent to you. So you could exchange with Josh, and he could be the ruler or something like that. Uh, which one is the villain? Uh, the guy that just hit him is not the villain. The tank. Yes. So you can't surge. Yeah. You could run back. So you probably shouldn't have moved that one first, because now he's got two more movement. So you want to you wanna spend a survival and dash? No, oh, at least... He's not going to do anything this turn anyway, so... Josh is providing comic relief for tonight. Yeah, that's my job. All right, so what does he do at the end of the <laughs> Everything turn? Josh has done so far has been coincidentally hilarious. <laughs> yep. So what what is he going to do? Basic attack against me? Uh, yes, he's going to perform a basic action against you. So you stand up. He's going to roll five dice? Six dice. Six dice. Thanks, everyone. We're oh, thank, thank you, you Crazy all. and all. Thank you so much. Can I have the rest of the dice, please? So I've got a question, TP. Yes. Is Crazy Andal available to win the subscriber-only giveaway? Of course. Okay. Anyone who subscribes before we give the giveaway should be um, eligible to win. And I'm just going to keep revealing stuff. Oh. Every time we get a sub? Every time we get a sub until the giveaway. Because why the hell not? So these are options. They're not options. Yeah. These are options. These are things to choose from. So the more people who sub before the giveaway, the more choices you will get. Yeah, Foretold might make it to the fight now. So, Josh, you rolled a 5, a 5, a 9, a 9, a 10, and a 10. So, all 6 hit. I have 3 evasion. Yep, all 6 hit. Um, where's the rest of the hit location dice? I don't know. Just roll Are you No, I'm not. Oh, here's one over here. So, Josh rolled body, body, feet, feet. So, roll 2 more. Body, body, feet, feet. Head, feet. So three on the feet, two on the body, one on the head. So, so the next option, bringing us to a total of five options so far, is Mage Wars. This is Arcane Wonders, also received from BGGCon. Thanks to BGGCon and Arcane Wonders. Very cool. So how much damage is each attack? Uh, three damage. I need to do one severe injury on the feet. Wait. That's it? Yeah. I had six armor on the body, so I got rid of my oh. body armor. I had two armor on the head, heavy hit on the head. I had four armor on the legs, so that so was... So severe foot injury. One severe foot injury. A six. six. Torn Achilles tendon, your leg cannot bear your weight until the end of the showdown. Whenever you suffer light, heavy, or severe injuries, you are knocked down. Skip the next hunt, gain a bleeding token. So what do I have? Uh, oh, the Torn Achilles, I just... Every time I get a hit, I get knocked down, basically. Yeah, but you'll get up again. Okay, and I'm knocked down now. Well, it's not whenever you get a hit. It's a light, heavy, or severe injury. Okay, so... Will there be a KDM mini giveaway if, if we, we get the tips? If we hit our tip goal, we will be doing a KDM mini giveaway. Yeah. Uh, the white box. And which one is that, Josh? TP can pick one. TP, if you can go pick I one just to show it off one. for everyone. <laughs> you don't need t-shirts yet, but there might be t-shirts in the future. Who knows? All right. Which one TP? I don't know. So is TP Vanna White or one of the Barker girls? Barker's beauties? I don't know. Are you as classy as Vanna White? Vanna White's a classy lady. She is a classy lady. I think, I think she's one of the Barker beauties. We'll go with that. Beyond the wall. Oh, that was full of puns. Tex Wolf says, hashtag Team Josh, I want first crack at that one. You get it? Because of, of Josh crack? Okay. So which one are we giving away, TP? This is Beyond the Wall. It is open. Um, it includes the pieces. So the sprue for the model. Mm. The hard breastplate. Is this supposed to come with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the cloth leggings and the artwork. So that's the artwork that comes with it, as well as some of the pieces for the Vagabond armor set. Yeah. So that's exciting. All the crotch shot. All the crotch shot. And this is was donated to us by Audius. So thank you, Ist Audius. Oh, they're the local one. Yes. All right, so that's going to be our giveaway if we hit the tip goal for this evening. And that's open to everyone that's watching. Yeah. So what is next, Josh? 
Um, this should get shuffled. And that should be the end of our turn. Well, no, because CP's no longer the villain, but she can't move up and get to him anyway, so that doesn't She do could nothing. dash. She can't, she can't, she oh, can't she get can. to him. Because she now has minus two movement. Yeah, minus two movement. Two movement, sorry. What's on top? It's not a correct location. So it's the end of our turn. TP is now monster control. So it is the monster's turn. So Josh, what is the AI card? Spotlight. This is a mood. When this card comes into play, perform basic action. While this is in play, there is no blind spot. Ooh, that's interesting. So that affects the plus one accuracy as well then. Yep, and uh... So he's gonna do two basic actions then as well. I'm gonna search. Why are you searching? To put your shield up? No. You can't search, you're doomed. Oh, with the fool. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, Fortal might die, but yeah. So you have surged. I so surge. what does that mean? Taunt the white lion. All knockdown survivors stand. Okay. Enraged, the white lion drops everything, targets you, and performs outburst. So three basic actions now? He's still going to... So basic action, he's going to target the villain. Well, this is what he was doing before. So his first thing was basic action when he drew that card. Right. To target, so he targeted me knockdown. Correct. Now I'm performing outburst. He's going to move... Towards your other guy. Towards my other guy to attack him. Okay. So he has a movement of... Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He cannot reach you. He can't reach me. So he doesn't attack. But he's going to go back to his basic action from before. And he's going to go attack me again. Correct. So when you taunted the white lion, what happened? I mean the lion knight. You I switched, switched roll rolls. cards. So you can dash now can out dash of the way. dash now out of the way and get away from it. So can you just dash me? I want to... So you, want, you only need to move like two spots. I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know you need to move all the spots. Yeah, just yeah, move me. So then he's going to come and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you, nine. You doubled moved him at the beginning. Move him back. No, he's not adjacent to you. Oh. I, okay. All right, so that's that. All right. Then he's going to, at the end of his turn, do another basic action. Yes, he's going to do another basic action. So he's going to target him again. He's going to target him again. <laughs> and he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or I'm going to go 8, 9. All right. So the line just ran around in a circle back and forth. Yeah. And thank you for the RX for answering the question for the Gamers Curse. Gamers Curse wanted to know if um, a Prime, uh, subscribing through Prime, if it took money directly from the Amazon account. Oh, it's free. Um, you get a completely free subscription. The only thing you need to remember with a Prime sub is that it does not automatically renew every month. You will have to go in and resubscribe if you choose to, if you want to still get the subscriber benefits for uh, subscribing to our stream. Um, whereas if... Uh, if you subscribe normally, it automatically updates. I would like to point out Maelstrom said, okay, congrats, Josh, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, that really was. Because <laughs> it looked like someone should have died. Someone should have died, and I said, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 And uh, I can actually sure? do that for pretty much the rest of the game if I keep both characters on opposite sides. Are you sure? Yeah. Because we have a ton of survival. So that's yeah. kind of funny. I mean, they don't have a ton of survival, but I could... Keep triggering that for a while. Right, right. All right. So it is our turn now. It is our turn. Uh, TP, you can reach the butt cheek if you want. You cannot crit the next location. It is not a critable location. So that is something to keep in mind. So do we want them to go first, or do you want to go first with one of your other characters? I think they should be the ones attacking. Because you can hit him with your other character. Can. And what is the wound reaction on that card? Um... Turn the monster to face the attacker, then without turning, move it two spaces to its left. So would TP would still be in range. So I think that would probably be the best thing for you to do. Okay. Even if you just thin out the deck, 
you know, the hit location deck. Right. So I roll two dice. And you're going to hit on a what? Five, five plus. plus. One hit. One hit. That's the important thing. Two so and a five. You, you got the one hit, and you have how much natural strength, and how, what strength does your weapon have? One natural strength, two strength on the weapon, but I have sharp. Okay. So... So seven total. Seven total. So you need to roll an eight plus here. Eight plus. And thank oh. you for the tip. Thank you, Congo Saya. Oh, thank you so much. A one. one. So you do not wound. Um, I would recommend you surging. I cannot you can't surge the, into the, the villain. villain. So you can go one, two. No, that was on a wound. Oh, that was on a wound? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Josh can move three spaces because Some... he's the villain. He's not the... The, the ruler. The ruler. The ruler gives you minus two additional movement. So I have three movement, and I have minus two. Now I have three movement right. without the minus two. I actually can move them a little bit. So again, that's another non crit location card, mm -hmm. which kind of stinks. Those kind of stink. Oh, there was a note there that uh, I didn't get to see until it came up on screen. And what is that? It says. Love watching you guys, but I hate spelling Katie him before I <laughs> <laughs> Well, then we are honored that you are here anyway. <laughs> so I think we still need to have Twitch go then, right? Yeah, they are going to lose two armor to one hit location. Actually, you know what? Um, move my guy. Do we want to let Twitch take this guy out? What do you mean? And just game him a bunch? I mean, he's not always going to attack the villain. A good chunk of the time. At the end of his turn, he always attacks the villain. Right. So I'm trying to think, like... This is an interesting predicament that we're in. All right. So I can do Cat Eye Circle, and I can move that around. Oh, do that. So I, I'm definitely going to do that. And that's on your... Oh, tank. no. that was, Sorry, that was the wrong character. I had them switched my head. Uh, I can't do that. I can only... Hi, the whole card! Hello! So you can't use the cat's eye circle? No, that was the... I would have had to deal with my... Uh, the villain. Okay. Just getting that backwards in my head. Um... So we'll just have Twitch attack then? No? Yeah, let's have Twitch attack and then we could figure a game plan out after that. Okay, so TP, I'm moving you in the butt. We need you to roll one. Actually, no, you're the ruler. It doesn't matter. So yeah, roll one d10, please. What if I don't want to? Then don't. You don't have to. I mean, I suppose I could. So the first person to roll the d10 after she posts the message will be the one we use, and you guys are going to hit on a three plus. Not a two plus anymore because there's no more blind spot bonus. Unfortunately. <clears throat> a seven that is definitely a hit so now we need one more d10 to be rolled for the wound check okay, so it is going to be a three three okay so let's do some math here you guys have four strength your weapon has six strength so that's ten you get plus one strength from the weapon proficiency no no what no strength just plus accuracy it's just plus accuracy yeah are you sure yeah okay so that's ten and that's got 13 total. It. That so that will not hit. So as a reflex, you're going to lose two armor points to a random hit location. No. So please roll a hit location die. Okay, cap enough. I don't think I've rolled a hit location since we've changed the instructions. Is it still exclamation point roll HL or is it just it's HL? So exclamation mark HL, folks. First one is going to determine where you guys lose two armor points. Arms. arms. So that means uh, we are going to go to our armors, and the arms are going to go from two to zero. Correct, Mundo. I'm okay with that. Then, if you are Jason, you are. You're going to suffer knockback seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which means you get another uh, momentum token. Oh, look, the trap card's next. Yep. Uh, full move the Lion Knight towards the attacker. If your wound attempt failed, place this card back on top of the hit location deck instead of in the discard pile. 
So they can search again. Yep, I would recommend that. So TP, can you please roll uh, first roll to see if you get your survival back that you spent? That's a hundred percent what he's saying, excellent. Yeah. And to one. So you're gonna spend one survival. Okay. Don't fair enough. Yeah, spend it. And then roll another D ten to do the attack roll. And you guys are going to hit on a five plus. Seven. Okay, that is a hit. They're both sevens. And then I need you to roll for the wound check. Hey, Zenith! Hey, Zenith! <laughs> oh boy, trap card! I mean, good evening! Hey. <laughs> so, TP, another D10. <laughs> no, <it's me> <laughs> <laughs> another D10, please, TP. Alright, here we go. And this is going to be for your wound check. It a is a four. four. That is a failure because you have the left cheek obsession. No! So we need you to roll a hit location die. No! Oops, wrong one. Ignore that. D10, or HL. 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 You lose all your armor at your sixth location. Quick, throw a dung ball. Mac can help us out Body. There. So you're going to lose two armor at your body. I mean, that's... Then you're going to get knocked back seven. As for how I'm doing, redacted. And then... Lion Knight's gonna move up there. You're gonna get your next momentum token. So you have all five of your momentum tokens now, so we can have you do that at some point. Ooh. And that is the end of your turn. I am Hodge Control again. And what is the next AI card, Josh? It is the monster's turn after all. How about we show them? Is so, this a level two Lion Knight? Level three. Level three. So it's gonna be Vein Strike, closest threat facing in range. Twitch. I like how you're just like, no, 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 it, it attacks the, the villain. I said it attacks a lot of the... So then, we need you to roll 1d10. One second. He has 11 health left. Hmm. I need to roll a d10? Oh, d don't even bother rolling a d10. No? No. Fine. Uh, it says roll 1d10 if the result is less than the target's courage, the Lion Knight huffs and steams, gaining plus one speed for this attack. They have no courage. So it, it's impossible for him to get that plus one speed. Okay. So he doesn't get plus one speed? So he's going to have five speed. Does two, that include in his yes. two natural? Oh, one natural speed, I thought. Two natural speed. Oh. Okay, so six speed. Two plus accuracy for three damage. Now, the bad thing here is if they, uh, if they get hit by this, they're going to suffer bash, and they're going to lose all their momentum tokens. Sucks. Yep. Uh, gamers, Chris, I believe when you go into uh, the right-hand side of the screen, if you hit subscribe, it'll give you the option to, once they're already connected, when I see that they are because you have a little Twitch uh, Prime crown, mm -hmm. um, it'll give you the option to sub with the Prime. Wait. Do we want to have them surge right here? They won't knock them down. That's fine. They, they can surge, use their momentum tokens now since they're probably going to lose them, and almost get a guaranteed hit on them. Or, or... They could surge now. They get the reflex. They get knocked back seven. Then they can dash, and they would technically be out of the way. Yeah, you're you're right. Game the system. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. So TP, we're gonna have you surge. So we need you to roll a d10 to see if you use your survival. Roll d10. Yeah, to see if you use your survival. Let's see what you got here. Big bucks, no whammies. That is a five. So you are going to spend your survival. Okay, that brings us down to ten. Then you're surging, so I need you to first, you're going to activate your propulsion drive, so I need you to roll a d10. And Thanks, everyone. We're ready. Thank, Thank you, you Gamer Curse. Curse. So I need you to roll a d10, and that's going to tell you how many plus strength and plus luck tokens you get for this attack. Are they using that now? Give we me one just second. said they would, didn't we? There's no Oh, I see. Crit. So There's yeah, no, never, never mind. This would be We're just a hit. Right it's so, a D10 to hit. To hit. We're still going to hit. Okay. Yeah. A nine. All right. Or no, that's I didn't, no, I didn't ask for it yet. That's a one. Oh. I mean, go back to the nine. Go back to the... Undo. Undo. Control Z. It's technically a one. Yeah. It's technically a one. Um, okay. Um... How bad is this? How much evasion do they have? They have five natural evasion, plus one, so they have six evasion, so it would be an eight plus to hit. On six dice? Yeah. And they can dodge one. 
and they can dodge one. So we'll see. Because I can do something. What's that something? I can dash, activate the fool's ability, become the villain. He runs after me, and then they can dash to get out of the way when he comes to go back to target us. Technically, all the all the manipulation of the fool. Why is everyone saying that's a six, not a one? Uh, let's see. Hang on. I see. Did they call the command right before you said it, and then it popped up afterwards? That's possible. Ah, uh, Maelstrom? Yeah, Maelstrom did call the command and it popped up. So, yeah, it's... It's a six. It's a six. So, it's a hit. So, it's a hit, All right. then. Okay. Thank you. Cool. So, you're attacking stage fright. So, I need you to roll a d10 to see if you hit, wound the monster. So, this is your wound check. Um, just give me one second. Uh, yay, for order of operations. Yay. So, one d10, TP. <laughs> All right. My roll skills. All my skills. So a d10, that is a three, that's a miss. But, no, it's, that's okay. Okay. Uh, so now you're gonna get knockback seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Full move the attacker towards you. Wait. Oh, they moves with them? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that. me too. All right, I guess they'll game it. Place this card back on top. There's no reason not to game it. What? There's no reason now not to. I don't even have to dash now. I can Did just... Still this? Yeah. It yes, is. he's still doing that. He's oh. still doing that. All right, so bef- you targeted. He did it. I'm now going to surge. I'm going to start... The outburst. The outburst with the taunt. Okay, so now the Lion Knight gets pissed off, and he's going to go after whom? He's going to go after the green guy. Okay, so he's going to move nine spaces. So yes. one, two, three, four... I need to go <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I was just moving the board to that far camera. I mean, the far ca- corner. Oh, I see what you're saying, Josh. Yeah. So he was here, right? Uh, he was right in front. No, on on the board edge. Here. Yeah. So moving just like nine straight up. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's there. All then right. TP. We're gonna have you dash. So we need you to roll a d10 to see if you gain your survival back. So we're going to see if you do that. Again, that is a 6 plus for you to regain the survival that you are spending, courtesy of the rawhide armor. What are you doing? Uh, I was fixing the board. Oh. All right. D10? Uh, yes, 1 D10. It is a one. start line has rolled. Yep. A 1. So okay. you lost. So you lost your survival, and then you're going to run 5 spaces away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You get another propulsion drive marker. That doesn't matter, though. Don't worry about okay. it. If it was on me, that would be funny. Yes. Actually, we should give them that. The devastating? Yeah. And deadly? Okay, so then he's going to move back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, ready for the next part? Yes. Uh, he's going to do a basic act against the villain, so he's going to come back out towards me. So now this One, is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> okay. So that is the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. Uh, TP has the minus movement still, unfortunately. Oh, then she shouldn't have been able to move only three spaces on that dash. That's true. I wouldn't have affected anything. Though. Yeah. Alright, so what's happening now? <laughs> Wait, I thought we only... What? Well, we rolled to use the survival, and then we also didn't hit? Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. You rolled to use survival to dash. That was the last Oh, time. to dash. Okay. I was confused about what we were rolling to survival for. They can't reach him in the left cheek. They could only reach him in the right cheek. Oh. Yeah. We get another stop. Did we? I mean, we did, which means I should reveal uh, another, oh. another thing to give away. So, Josh, do you want to go up and hit him with the villain? That might be the best bet here, because you're going to get rid of the stage fight. Stage fight, rather. Let me... Oh, do... thank you, Shadow Zero. Thank you, Shadow Zero, for the $25. Oh, thank you. And we're very close to the tip to the tip giveaway now. The Just the Tip giveaway. Just the Tip giveaway. But we're not going to be doing a Just the Tip giveaway if we get it, because we're going to be doing a subscriber giveaway. We're doing that, too. Yeah. 
The next option, we are surpassed five choices now because we have gotten so many subs in this stream. The next option for the uh, sub only giveaway is steam torpedo. This is a yellow. Yeah. Yellow, is that pronouncing it right? Like Danny Aiello. And uh, we also got this at BGGCon, so thank you so much for that. So we got a lot of options for the subscribers. A lot of right. options. And uh, Shadow Zero was tipping for... Oh, a sumo suit. For a sumo suit. Oh, boy. So I think we should... Let's hang on. Bonus, oh, bonus. So what's up, Josh? I think put this on top of like, Twitch attack. Because they have the highest chance to actually crit. Talk to Twitch, too. Um, so since you guys, Twitch, you guys have the highest chance to crit, you could actually do some pretty heavy damage right here. So we're going to have you do this with your propulsion drive. So we're going to have them... They hopefully do four damage with us. Yeah, they could do four damage, possibly. So TP, we're going to have you dash. So you're going to spend a survival. Oh, hi, Nick, just tipped $10. I think that puts us over the threshold, TP. Uh, let me double check. I'd be really close. Bonus, so it was a 20, a 25, so that's 45, that's 55. So we're like $8 away. We are $18 away. $18 Your math away. is off. I thought we were at 63? Yes. Hang on. 20 plus this 25 is, is 45, plus 10 is 55, so it should be $7 away. Oops, yeah. I made, give me one second. The $10 Bonus. might have not come in yet when she saw it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're going to have TP. You are going to roll a d10 to see if yes. you gain your survival back in order to dash to the monster's blind spot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Unfortunately, they can't get to the left cheek. Yeah. But we're going to also have you do the propulsion drive. Uh, so after you roll that d10, we're going to need another d10 to be rolled. And that's for the attack or for the get the card. So TP, we need a D ten to be rolled. Uh, uh, oh, 10. 13, 13 from Shatten. Oh, thank you so much, Shatten. Thank you, Shatten. So we're definitely going to be doing the tip giveaway this evening, and we're giving away the before the wall, beyond 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 the wall. KDM white box. If for whatever reason we do hit another goal, then we, of course, will do another white box or another... Another KDM related one. Just the first... The first attack. First, the first hit of that. The first card you're... Oh, hit. that's it? Oh, yeah, okay. it's not for the full attack. So, uh, they rolled a... What? A six. A six. A six. So, TP, you're going to regain two survival. So, update your survival by two, please. And then we need another D10 to be rolled, and this is going to be for your momentum drive. Give me one second. No. Not allowed. So we're going, a survival is going back to 11 from 9, and then you said that we're going to roll another... Uh... Another D10, and this is to activate your propulsion drive. Okay. That's a no, uh, no. yeah, it's a 9. A 9. Confirm. So you guys are going to get plus 9 strength, plus 9 luck for this attack. Okay. <laughs> Plus nine strength, plus nine it's luck. It's strength and luck, right? Yes, it's strength and luck. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah, so we need you yeah. to roll a d10 for your hit to see if you hit. And that'd be funny if you don't hit. That, that would not be funny. A five, five. That's, a that's a hit. So you are attacking the... Oh, the vein strike goes away, finally. Uh, you're attacking the lover's heart. Oh, so sorry. What the hell did I do? No, Matt, this is the card. I put the hit location cards on top of the AI deck. I was very confused. Oh. Uh, you're attacking the Fiendish Brow, so we need you to roll a, another d10, TP. Oh, you already did that. Oh, no, you didn't. We need a d10 to be rolled. D10 is... So this is your wound check. A four. That's four. a crit because you have, like, yes. 13 luck right now. So, you crit the monster, you do two wounds, and then a snarl accompanied by a smile. The attacker draws an extra hit location card for this attack. So... Before that, TP, because you have Abyssal Sadist, you are going to increase your survival by two and increase your insanity by one. So okay. you should be at max survival again. Survival is going up from 11 to 12 because that is the max, and then the insanity is what is happening there? Up by one. 
And yeah, they do strength. not have their plus strength and plus luck for this next attack, no, they right? Do not. And they lose their tokens. So. so they lose their tokens. So TP, you're going to do the wound check uh, for stage fight. So I need you to roll another d10 for that. Okay. So, oh, thank you, Cut- Cutthroat oh, Cure. Thank you so thank much. You. Bonus. You rolled a four, which is not enough. Yeah, they rolled 14 out of 15 again. This is minus two because of the... Oh, yeah, that's right. So you get the reflex happens. You're going to get knockback seven. Yay. So you get another momentum token. Monster runs up towards you. And then this goes back on top of the pile. This is annoying. (laughs) But I mean, it's kind of good, though, because they keep getting their momentum token from it. Yeah. And so then it is... Still our turn. I'll put my shield up. And hope that he's attacking you. I hope the game is more than anything. Um, move me... Move the green guy left. Like, five spaces. Alright, so... TP can surge here, can't she? Yeah, they can still surge. So TP, why don't you roll another d10 to see if you spend your survivor. We're going to have you surge here to try and get rid of that again. And so, let's see if you regain the survival that you're spending here, or if you just spend it. A seven. So you're going to regain... So you're going to stay at max survival. Uh, You are attacking, so I need you to roll a d10 for the hit check. Okay. Oh, that is true. Oh. You should have been knocked down. Oh, you're right. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... They're here. Monsters knocked down. So if this would have gone here, they would not surge because that yeah, would be the trap card. Yeah, you don't want to surge because that would have been the trap card. So we're not going to have you do that. Undo, undo, undo? Yeah. Undo that part, yeah. So thank you. Who was that? Isreus. 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 So if you could give yes. them some bonus points. I did. Please. Thank you 15. so much, Isreus. And so, Josh, are you going to actually trigger the trap card or how do you want to do this? I'm going to bury it You're next gonna... turn. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm just going to kind of... So the four would hit. No, the four oh, The four was for a wound, not for yeah, a hit. It, was, it wasn't enough strength to, to wound. So, so that is the end of our turn, right? Or are you doing anything else with your other characters? No, I, I did everything I wanted to do. So it is now the monster's turn. So, Josh, you are the monster controller. Uh, so what's the uh, next AI card? So the monster stands back up. Yeah. And he is going to do... New mood. New mood. Upstage. When this comes into play, place the Lionite in the center of the showdown board. He's teleported. Uh, while this is in play, the Lion Knight gains plus one speed, plus one damage token. Discard this card when the Lion Knight is critically wounded or his survivor dies. Okay. So we just have to crit him once. Which is very doable for us. It's doable. It doesn't say to draw another AI card, so all he's going to do now is his basic action. So before... Is there a, there's a flow here or no? Uh, he's yeah. There is a flow after picking target, so he's gonna hit me. Oh, but you can't do anything because you're doomed. Yeah, I already put my shield up though from last. Okay, so he's gonna go up and hit you. So it is a basic attack, mind you, plus one speed, plus one damage. So it's gonna be seven speed now, correct? Yeah. So because so many people have tipped to um, go toward a sumo suit, but no one's tipped over the amount. By themselves for a sumo suit. I'm gonna let them decide together. I'm gonna pull. do cool. So first we're gonna decide on the color. And why don't you also set up a uh, a contest, a gambling contest yes. for killing blow. So first we're gonna do the color, and next we're gonna, you're gonna decide who it's going towards. So. What did you need to hit yourself with? I have three evasion, so five plus. Five plus, and you rolled a ten, a three, a two. A six, an eight, and a nine. So four so, hits so far. Four hits so far. You need to reroll one. So four hits. Or five hits. Five hits. That's oh, a five plus? Five plus. Yeah, yeah. five plus. Um, so you hit yourself five times. You get to block two of them. Yeah, so I only roll three dice. Uh, Red Sonia, we have four pulled. And you're going to get four damage to each of the hit locations. So eight damage to your body, four damage to your waist. Uh, who are the other two survivors? Only one other survivor. Oh, Red Sonia, f- yeah, I've been dead. Foretold. I didn't realize. Uh, foretold, Red Sonia, and Durzo Blint. Durzo Blint. 
It just they're the Heartstring Brothers. Oh, they're brothers. That's that's adorable. All right. D U R Z O space B L I N T. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Random question: Do you folks have any console controllers, like a PS4 controller? Um, I have a couple One controllers, not here, but I have Xbox 360 controllers. 360 controllers, and they can go into the uh, PC. I have the little adapter. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, I wonder if Zenos. I think I know what Zenos talking about. Don't, eh, redacted. 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 Okay. So, what next, Josh? So you took eight damage to your body, four damage to your waist. Yeah, so two severe injuries on the body. Um, or don't you have the... Oh, you don't have the... I don't have the full armor, arm set. So, no, I don't have anything cool. Damn. Eight and a two. You're gonna... Do you have a reroll? Yeah. You're gonna want to use that reroll, Josh. So an eight is a broken rib, suffered minus one permanent speed. This injury is permanent and be, may be recorded multiple times. Gain a bleeding token. So what did I get? Broken rib. And then a five is destroyed back. Suffer minus two permanent movement. You can no longer activate any gear that has two plus strength. This injury is permanent and can be recorded once. Gain a bleeding token. So I lost one speed and two movement? Yeah. And you can no longer activate any gear with more than two strength. Does that mean I can't block on my shield anymore? Then it says this has nothing to do with Kingdom Death, by the way. I think so. So then, if I if I have a broken back, I cannot activate a shield for block. I believe. Thank you, Cutthroat. Cut 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 I read that as Cutthroat Couture the first time. I don't know why. All right. That's terrible. And Zenith, if you could clarify that for us, that would be fantastic. And I have one more die. I need to roll for the waist. How much life does the Lion Knight have left? A lot. <laughs> uh, I rolled a six in the waist. So it looks like we're not going to be doing two uh, fights this lantern here. Or this thing. What did you roll? Uh, six in the waist. Uh, did you see uh, Charles? Yes. <laughs> a hedgehog in uniform pinup outfit? Yeah. Uh, six on the waist, you said? Yep. Destroyed genitals. You can no longer be nominated for intimacy, gain a random disorder, you're knocked down, and you gain three insanity. Add a bleeding token? Yeah, and a bleeding token. I think that was... No, Shut I'm at mouth. four now. Yeah, you're at four now. And destroy general, so I just can't be nominated for intimacy? Yes, and you get a random disorder. Oh. So... Oh. 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 Right in the boys. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Hemophobia. The mere sight of blood makes you lightheaded, and serious gore can knock you out. During the showdown, whenever a survivor, including you, gains a bleeding token, you're knocked down. Good question. I have not thought about that in a while. Given that the shield is a weapon, if it has two plus strength, I'd say you cannot block. Yay, destroyed junk. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. So, cut their cure. That is an awesome question. So, in addition to our um, sub-only giveaways, we have a sub-only Discord chat, which is um, awesome. It's all the greatest people in the world. Uh, we have a Minecraft server. We have a Minecraft server. We are working on IRL stuff. Yeah, and so the IRL stuff is going to be cumulative. Uh, for how long you've been a subscriber. Uh -huh. And I believe, I don't know, can I say the first goal is after three consecutive months of subscribing? Mm -hmm. So that is one goal that you guys should be keeping up with. Um, if you are subscribed for three consecutive months, that's when our first IRL subscriber only give or subscriber only benefit, benefit will kick in. And these are real life things that we're working on. Um, we're also going to have some emotes that we're working on. Some we're, extra emotes, yes. But we can already do the most famous emote in the world. The best emote ever. If I must say so myself. Matt up. Tiny mats. All right. So uh, what else is going on on this turn? Josh got destroyed generals. Raise your hand, Josh. Yay. Wait, I don't have babies yet. It's really appropriate with him in like the unicorn ones. He just looks so sad. He looks so emasculate. <sighs> All, right. All right. So it looks like our tank's about to die. This might be a, might. this might be a TPK. I'm feeling a TPK. I think a testicular blow of such magnitude would cause more than three insanity. Just saying. Oh, I didn't have the insanity. I have four. 
five, six, seven, eight. Eight health left on that. That's not that bad. So, eight AI cards or eight health? Eight health. Seven AI cards. Nice. Nice. All right. So, it is the end of the Lion Knight's turn, and it is our turn. So, who wants to go first? Trap card's there. Do you want to bury it? Can you bury yeah, it? I can bury it. And because we got another sub? Go for it. Did we get another sub? We did. Cuts are here. No, they followed. No, they got a sub. Did they sub? Oh, okay. Sold. I'm not paying attention. You are not! Uh, what character is Josh playing? Josh, that got the destroyed genitals. Um, Durzo Blint. Durzo Blint. The thing is, after the showdown, I do have the regen suit, so I remove all the permanent injuries I suffered. Yeah. So I'm okay after the battle if I survive. Right. So. It'll be a close one, that's for sure. So can you bury it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I like it. So, uh, stack them the way you want. So... The next reveal for the sub-only giveaway option is an awesome dice tower by Zerd Cow, mm -hmm. aka Firefly Lasers. They are available on Etsy. Uh, Brandon was nice enough to donate them when we saw him at BGGCon. Got a lot of swag at BGGCon. So thank you so much to Brandon. Um, I'll let you guys know where you can get a copy if you guys want one. Highly recommend them. They're pretty awesome. Sorry, Cutthroat Cure. I've, there's just a lot going on in chat. It's hard to keep up. Uh, Maelstrom, that is correct. If you do flow in the middle of his turn and knock him down, that does interrupt the rest of his turn. Um, note, though, the Grand Weapon Mastery only allows you to knock him down during your act. Correct. Not um, whenever you want. Yeah. So Twitch can't reach him because they only have three movements. Did you answer the question about what character Josh is playing? That yes, Durzo Blint Heartstrings. Gotcha, okay. So Josh, the only way we can hit him is if you stand up your guy, maybe smack him. You can't hit him with the shield. You can hit him with your, your pickaxe guy. It's the only option that we really have. That is the artwork on green acrylic of the Dice Tower. Very cool. So what are you going to do, Josh? It's green right now, so it looks clear. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but it is green. Josh, what are you doing? I already did the hit locations with the... Correct. My fool, so I can't really do anything else. Now known as Ball, Ball Splint. <laughs> Josh has AP right now. I do. And it's broken. Good job, TP. No, it's not... Now giving away one slightly broken it's fine. dice tower. It's fine. You can tell she's fine. married to Josh. That was fine, guys. It's fine. Stacking things are not a good idea. Okay, so I move there. Uh, Twitch can go and do what they want to do. They can't reach him. They can move closer to him. Uh, what happens with the horn? That's only if you're the fool, and they're not the fool. Hmm. So TP, I'm gonna have you move closer to the Lion Knight. Uh, that's really all you can do. Okay. Um, I'm hurt? knocked down. Yeah. Can they get me up, please? So TP, you're gonna spend the survival to stand Josh up, and that means I need you to roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival. Okay. Uh, let's see. And you're standing. What would you like to do, Josh? I'm gonna go activate the stage. Alright, so our D10 is being rolled right now, and we have a 7, so we do get a bit left. We have already a 12, so... Why are you going to the balcony? Uh, I can activate it, and there's a trap door there that puts me on the stage knocked down. So I kind of, like, teleport onto the stage, and he's going to target me at the end of his turn. And that'll give you your survival... And it'll give me my survival options. Okay, so you're on the stage knocked down. Um, put me, like, right here. That works. Alright, so... <clears throat> now it's the end of the monster's oh, the end of our turn it's the monster's turn he's going to draw an AI card and he is going to do backside kick fool in range uh, damn it alright what are you saying damn I was going to see if I could dash after he targets me but I am within five spaces. I, I he would follow me wherever I go. Woody? 
I only have three movement, so. Even if you go this way, one, two, three. Yeah. So he would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can't reach you. Oh, okay. So I'll dash. So he's gonna go here. <clears throat> um. So he dashed. You dashed out of way. Yep. So nothing happens. And then what next? Uh, basic attack against the villain. Villain. So he's gonna turn around and go after you. Uh, so he's going to attack you. Roll seven dice. I'm gonna die. Why is that? Well, you can surge right now and block two. I can't block. Oh. Oh boy. So five plus hits you. So you rolled a two, a two, a six, a nine, and a nine, and a six. And another six. Triple sixes. Quadruple sixes. And six. two upside down lines. A sixes. Okay, so you got five injuries. Uh, I need one more die. <clears throat> There's, um, I only have four. And you're getting a hit on the body, the waist, the waist, the hand, and the head. So. Hi, Josh. All right. You're going to take four damage to each one of those locations. So I took four damage to the hands. I ignore that one. You're going to take eight damage to the body. Four damage to the body. Four damage to the body. Let's do the body first. Six. Disemboweled. I did. You gained another bleeding token, you're dead. Yay, Josh. Reason why I didn't roll the head first. I'm glad you took the bandages away from me when I needed them most. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I died from bleeding tokens. I had bandages at the beginning, and you're just like, you don't need those! You did. Except I did. Why didn't you use the bandages on yourself? Other character. Alright, villain's dead. We need to do uh, last act. Last act, so we're going to have you roll 1 through 5, and you're going to roll a 6 through 10. So, no, don't, don't actually roll. So, it's UTP, so the ruler card gets discarded, and you're the villain. It's actually not a... I think just do it with the villain card. Last act, instead of ending the showdown, archive a random survivor's roll card, that survivor becomes the villain. So, yes, they would become the yeah, villain. Yeah, they're the villain. I just, I, no, that's under my sheet. So, you guys are the villain. Uh, that is the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. <sighs> the nice thing is, if you go to the stage, you can then surge and dash. You are no longer doomed. So what we're going to have you do first is run onto the stage and then spend a survival to dash. So, no, you don't need to spend a survival to dash. Never mind. Okay. So you run onto the stage. You get a momentum token. Token. Uh, and then you're going to attack. So TP, I need you to roll a d10. Okay. And he does lose roll. his power card. Thank you. So he just went up in health again. I'm yeah. Go to the bathroom real quick. Thank you for sharing, Joshua. So they rolled a seven. That is a hit. So you guys are attacking the lover's heart. So I need you to roll another d10 for your wound check. Two. That is a failure. I know that that's a failure. No. There is no failure uh, location on this card, so nothing bad happens. And then I'm going to have you spend the survival to surge. So TP, roll a d10 to see if you gain your survival back. Okay. Uh, three, so you we do, do not. Correct, you do not. So let me go ahead and update the survival. We are going from 12 to 11. Then I need you to roll a d10 for a hit check. Okay. Uh, first Attack roll. roll. Big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. I roll. Cutthroat cure. Roll d10. Oh, no, that's... Exclamation point. That's an upside down exclamation mark. So the... Uh, two. A two does not hit. Mm. So... I'm going to have you do something else fun here. Uh, I want you to roll a d10 because I'm going to have you dash to the opposite corner of the board. Okay. So roll d d10 to see if you get your survival back. One. So that 10... Where is... 
It's a D10 is all... No, it's not all together. Why is it just PandaBot not rolling? What's wrong, PandaBot? PandaBot took a nap. PandaBot. PandaBot died. It's probably a bad idea naming it the PandaBot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so, TP, why don't you roll instead? Okay. Uh, and Josh, if you can go figure out what is going on with PandaBot. So, D10. You rolled a 9. So you're going to gain 2 survival back. That means we are back to our max of 12. You get another momentum token, so you're at 3 of those. And you need 5, correct? Oh, there. PandaBot woke up. Ah, PandaBot's up. Uh, I roll first. Can we go with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that is the end of your turn. Uh, it is now Josh's turn. What um, is it? it? It is pretty far behind. Yeah. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna say Josh is gonna run up and attack it in the left butt cheek or just a butt cheek really. Just a butt cheek. S- Annual butt cheek. Josh, did you have the f- fool before? No, no, you didn't. Okay, never mind. Okay. Nothing. I'm gonna attack. I'm assuming you're attacking the butt. Our best chance, right? Also, the trap card is below that card. I hit on a five plus. Yes. The odds are in your favor. You've been rolling crappy all night, which means you're gonna roll great right now to offset that. So why don't you roll, Josh? Or you're gonna do something else? He can move that far. It wasn't that far. Yeah, I had the movement fart. The movement fart. He's in mumble mode. He is in mumble mode. I could surge, use cat eye circle it. And then attack. And then attack. That might not be a bad idea. How much survival do you have? I have four left. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, What's the chance of me actually doing a wound? Not bad. 312. It's about a 50-50 shot of you doing a wound. Uh, How many AI cards are left? Eight. 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 Yeah. Oi. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna first check the. Use this to check it. And we can't run away? No, we don't have that ability. Hey. So I'm gonna put this second. So Twitch can hit it? So Twitch can hopefully hit it. One hit. One hit, there you go. So. so you're attacking the cavernous heart. There is no failure location on this. Great roll, Josh. Back here. Nine. Okay, so roll another d10. You need a four plus. Eight. You wounded. Yay! And I helped. All right. So that is the end of our turn. It is now the monster's turn. So, Josh, AI card, please. Who's monster controller? Foretold. So you're doing hyperactive strike. Closest non-villain threat in range. You're not a threat because you're in the blind spot. There is no blind spot. Yeah, there is no blind spot. He's going to turn around and attack you. And this is going to do four speed, so five speed. Because he's got got plus plus two. He's got plus two. (laughs) Six. Six speed. Two plus accuracy, how much evasion do you have? Uh, three, four, five, six evasion. Okay, so it's gonna be an eight plus for you to hit, six speed. Rolly, rolly. So you rolled a one, a two, a one, a three, a five, and a 10, so it's one hit. For how much damage? It's gonna be three damage, and you're gonna suffer bash, and full move the Lion Knight towards the villain. Any survivors passed over gain a bleeding token. So you see, honestly, at this point, we might wanna consider triggering the trap card with Josh, so we put the trap card away in case TP has to solo him. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I think Zambato is the best chance for win here. Zambato is the best chance. I will dodge this. I'm thinking here, hold on. So TP, if you move one, two, three, four, five spaces away, he's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's gonna have just enough to get to them. It's best for them to stay where they're at. 
Yeah. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Did the extra strength and luck get removed after Josh's other character died? Yes. Yeah. Uh, strength and speed. Speed. All right, so that is the end of your turn because you dodged it. He's going to then turn around and do a basic action against the villain. Oh, you know what? He would have reached them anyways because he would have turned around and done a move towards them, it says, for that. That's after damage. Oh, after damage. <clears throat> so he's going to do a basic action against TP. How many dice is he going to roll? Basic action's four? Four, so six so dice. six dice. How much evasion do they have? They have five, six evasion. Six evasion. Plus the token there? Seven evasion. Seven evasion. So, so it's going to be a nine, nine plus, plus to hit. No hits. No hits. Oh. Okay. If you want to be away, Josh should dash before the... Yeah. It's, it's okay, though, because yeah. he just missed everything, because you guys have stupid evasion. Yep. So it's the end of the Lion Knight's turn. Josh, I would recommend... Well, let them hit it first, I guess, right? And then... Let them hit it first, because that's a really good crit location. I could have them do propulsion drive. Uh, I'm dashing. Yeah, that's fine. That make, that's going to be fun. Okay, yeah. so TP, we're going to have you dash. So if you can please roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival back. So you're going to do your movement and then your dash. Okay. So one, two, three. Uh, is that right? You can just put them there. You can do the movement in a way that it works. Yeah. So I'll move them into the left cheek. They get... Plus two tokens. So well, did five. they... Uh, it, we did five. not get the survival okay. back, so... Our survival's down to 11. So now I'm going to have you activate your momentum drive. So I need you to roll a d10. And this is going to see how many plus strength and luck tokens you get. So you're going to get six. plus six luck. So I need you now to roll a d10 to attack the monster. Okay. The four. That's going to hit. Yes. So okay. now you are attacking the bladed parry. So I need you to roll a d10. Okay. And this is going to be... Oh, this is like moving all Oh, I'm sorry. I you, yeah, you, I think you hit it when you were doing the dice power. Uh-huh. So I need you to roll a d10 to see if you wound the monster. Come on, guys. That's one. You don't wound the monster. Would it two have been better? Anything would have been better. Like... Does anyone have a reroll left? Nope. No. No one does. Nope. No. No. Oh, actually, Red Sonia's never used their reroll. That is not true. No, on the new character, they have oh, not used their right. reroll. Can we reuse? Can we use the reroll right now? She's probably. It would gonna... honestly, it's probably a meaning of life and death right now to use it because if we don't start doing more damage to him, then yeah, I think that it's worth it for the reroll right here. Especially the this critical the... location. Yeah, the critical is. location of this is fantastic. Okay, let's do the reroll. Okay. So guys, this is our reroll. And you're gonna roll a one again. You and your negativity. I'm a negative Nancy. Okay. What can I say? An eight. It's an eight. Oh, okay. Thank so you gosh. crit. So the Lion Knight suffers minus one speed when it attacks the villain. So he rolls one less dice when he attacks the villain. And more importantly, you do two damage to the monster. All right. Now, Josh, are you going to? He's knocked down. And he's knocked down. Even better. So, Josh, are you going to do the? I'm going to walk up to him, be adjacent, and then. He's going to use the cat's eye circlet and reorder the hit locations. <clears throat> Anything good there, Josh? Do some fun stuff here. All right. So you want to have TP roll? Uh, yeah, TP should surge and attack. So first, TP, roll 1d10 to see if you regain your survival back that you're going to spend for surging right now. A we five. You don't. You don't. A lot of fives. Wait, so we, we hit. So that's right. You did wound. So Abyssal Sadist, you're going to gain plus two survival, plus one insanity. So that would bring. So that would have brought us back up to a max of 12. Okay. And now we're using it. So 11. So 11. But we are gaining one insanity. That is correct. Look at me remembering things. I think we actually did all four rerolls. Everyone had a reroll on them. Uh, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, I did. Yeah, you did. So the whole team yeah. used the reroll. Everyone used a reroll. And it did no Did foretold reroll? Yeah. On one of, uh, he would have died from, uh, 
Oh. One of his severe injuries. Okay, so uh, where's now... Where's location? Oh, it's right here. So, then, now you are surging. So I need you to roll a d10 for your hit check. Red Sonia yes. died, and then... Red Sonia died with a Flame of Arrow flower virus. It's a two. And you do not hit. The monster's knocked down, so a three plus is required to hit. No. So, Josh, would you like to attack now? I need the crit on these... Thank you, Under the Third. Oh, thank you so much. I am not going to talk. Why not? I need the crit. Both these. Th- this card's a parry. Uh, the other one below it is also I you're a parry. Impervi- impervious. So I am already used my action, so I'm not going to surge because I'm low on survival. Okay. So it's just going to be... So it's the end of our turn. It is now the monster's turn. He's going to stand up. He is going to do... Jealous Rage. So he's going to closest survival to the damsel. There is no damsel. Then the closest survivor. So he's going to attack Twitch because they've got the most evasion. It makes and they sense. get minus one to speed. Yes. Uh, so he's going to attack <laughs> for five speed, two plus accuracy. There is a note there. <clears throat> what was the note? Just the tip. Just the tip. So nine plus hits? Nine plus hits. One hit. One hit. Which they can dodge. Yes, so TP, please spend a... Well, you're going to dodge. Spend a survival? Spend a survival, but first roll to see if you spend your survival. If you gain it back, rather. Lots of rolling. It's an eight. So you're going to go back up to max survival. Yes. (laughs) That's ridiculous. The character is so funny. Uh, Afterwards, it says, Full move the lion through the damsel. If there is no damsel, turn the monster to face away from the target and full move forward. He's going to move nine spaces forward. Okay, so Twitch could dash. They could dash here. And he wouldn't be able to reach them. And they'd still be in the ring. Okay. So TP, you're going to dash. I need you to just roll a d10 to see if you regain your survival back. Roll a d10. One, two, and whatever. I make it work. Two. So we lose our survival. Yeah. Survival is going back down to 11. You get another momentum token. So you're at one. We. This is a fun character. Now why do you think that we always play as Red Sonia? So now the Lion Knight is going to perform a basic action. So he's going to go back and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense, doesn't nine. it? Yes. So, that's the end of the Lion Knight's turn. It is now our turn. So, TP, I'm going to have you run and punch it in the butt. Yes. So, we're going to run here. You're going to get a a momentum token. I need you to roll a d10. So, yeah, Transcendent, you have so many ways you can regain survival. It's ridiculous. I see a one. Yep. So, that's a failure. So, do you want to spend the survival to surge? No. Okay. Josh, it's your turn then. No! So this is your d10 that you're going to roll. You don't regain your survival, so reduce it by one. Then I need you to roll another d10 for the attack check. I'd be really interested to see if we ever get down to zero survival. I, to, like, I, it would it's be so hard. It's impossible. Because the thing is, you could, you would have to never wound the monster either. Eight. Because of Abyssal Satis. So that's a hit. You're attacking the Dauntless Repel. Uh, so I need you to roll a d10 for the wound check. Okay. A lot of stuff going on. Come on. It's a six. six. That's a crit. Yes. So is this fight even real? Gain plus three insanity. Yes. So you're going to do two wounds to the monster. Wait. Don't I get yes. plus two insanity? So it's plus five insanity? No, plus, plus one. one. Plus one. So it's you're going to get plus sur- four. Abyssal Sadist, plus two, in- plus two survival, okay. plus one insanity. So we're back up to 12 survival, and now we get four insanity. Yes. Yes. So that's eight to 12 insanity. Correct. All right. So, and the monster's knocked down. The monster's knocked down. I am going to use my bandages to cure my two. There you go, playing it smart. I'm not going to surge to check the deck. I am staying where I'm at. Note the next card on here is the cape. It's impervious, so you cannot wound it. But if Twitch wants and what comes up is really bad, they can surge, crit that location, and knock the monster down during his turn. Make okay. it oh, that useless. one actually allows them to knock it down on a turn. On a crit. Like, Ooh, that's nice. Did we knock down? Did we... Yeah, we knocked that. Okay. Yep. 
All right, so that is the end of our turn. It is the monster's turn. Josh, you're the monster controller. Yes. By the way, you targeted yourself as the monster controller last time, so you should get another insanity for that. Yes. So, oh, it's a mood card. This guy's mood. So, upstage is back in play. So when this comes into play, place the Lionite in the center of the showdown board. He's already there. Uh, then he's going to gain plus one speed, plus one damage tokens. And as soon as he's critted or a survivor dies, that goes away. Okay. So then, so, he's going to perform his basic action against Twitch. So Twitch has the option if they want to surge, try to crit this location. And then it would get rid of down. the mood as well. Yes. Uh, side note? Yes. Do the polls. Yeah. It is going to be a red sumo suit to me. <laughs> For red Sonia. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have you surge right now mm -hmm. to attempt to knock the monster down. Okay. So we need to roll a d10 to see if you gain your survival back. So much rolling. It's ridiculous. All the rolls. Okay. A one. So you don't spend your survival. You do spend your survival. Don't get it back. Don't get it back. So then I, I need back from the max. Going down to eleven again. So then I need you to roll a d10 for your attack check. I'd rather have the one on the survival roll than the hit. So five. That is a hit. So you draw the card. We need to roll a d10 on the wound check. Come on. Five. Five. Is that a crit? That's not a crit. Really? I don't think. Really? They have three natural luck plus. Devastating one or plus deadly. Yeah, so that's four. Unfortunately, it's not a crit. It's so close. Why do you do this to not me? Not a crit. So turn the monster opposite its current facing. If the attacker is adjacent to the lion knight, they suffer bash. So you're knocked down. Oh, that's bad. I wait. I thought something happened with the villain that doesn't attack anymore or something. No, you get a minus one speed one attacking you. Okay. Well, that stinks. Wow. Okay. So now. The monster's going to perform a basic action against you. So he's going to roll... Six dice. Six dice. Nine plus the hit. Nine so. plus the hit. Yeah, unfortunately, no luck on the grid aside from deadly. Yeah. So you rolled one hit. One hit. So TP, I would suggest spending a survival and dodging. So if you spend a survival, I need you to roll a d10 to see if you get it back. All right. You don't get it back. So you lose one survival. Down to ten. You dodge that attack. It is our turn. So, you want to stand them back up? I have to encourage them to do that. Let me check what the cards are here. So, right. I'm first going to use the cat eye circle of two. That makes sense. To do this. Good ones. Minus one toughness token, which is nice. Oh, that, that would be crit. very handy. Uh, do they have noisy gear in the group? They. Uh, yes, they do. Yeah, drum. <clears throat> All right, so what's next? Oh, this actually cancels, so that's actually nice. All right. Um, I guess I should... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to encourage because they could possibly take him out. Oh. I will, I will use... So, T... No, they can't. They can't surge. Why? They already surged. Oh, they can't surge. He I mean, would go wounds or wounds. Yeah, he would go down to his two basic attacks at the end of. Is that good though? Is that one mood card in play? This one is, yeah. Okay. Can you dodge but knock down? Yeah, you can still dodge but knock down. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them up. And this Crazy. is how we're gonna do this. How do you want to do this? They're gonna attack. Then. Monster will start his turn. During the first target, they get attack again with a surge there. Yeah. And do the last one. Okay. So TP, we're gonna have you first dash, so you're in the left cheek blind spot. Okay. So roll D10 to see if you gain your survival back. I'm gonna say we don't. You do. Oh, we so you're gonna gain two survival. Okay. Uh, so you should be at what eleven now. Give me one second. Survival. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. We're going up Down one. Down one, up one. Up, up two. two. Yeah. So yes, back to 11. So now I need you to roll a d10 for your attack check. Okay. Your attack roll. It's a five. That's a hit, so I need you to then roll a d10 for your wound, and I'm going to give you a momentum token. Okay, it is going to now, be... Now, your momentum tokens got reset because you got knocked down, and eight is a crit. So, a piece of the Lion Knight's armor flies off, the monster gains minus one toughness token, and he is then knocked down. So you're going to do two damage to him? Can we surge? No. 
Right. You surged on the your survival resets on the monster's turn. So when you surged back then, you used your surge this for is the going round. Back in. Correct. So, so the gonna mood card is going back in. Okay. Since you critted. Now <clears throat> What's their crit chance? Their crit chance is uh, six, six plus, plus so six, what's their that's a fifty percent. Uh, wound for them is they have six plus four, so it's a five plus. So it's a sixty percent to wound, fifty percent to crit. What's the health loss? Two. Two health. Look at Matt, and I just got douche face. Like no. in reference to the lionite, like yeah. We're I have one survival left. Would it be worth it for me to try to find a crit location? Right now? For your last hit. So why don't... I mean, we could also have the Lion Knight go. He's going to draw that one AI card. Yes. Then he's going to do his basic Detection. action, which... Decent chance of missing? Hmm. I mean, don't quote me on that. It's not a six dice. It's. I think our best chance is the surge in the middle before he attacks. Probably. So I'm gonna use my survival, my last survival, to check the hit location cards. Let's see if there's anything better. There's a crit one. There's a crit one. I will put that on top just to make it a make little. Make sure bit. that the other one is not the second card. What? Make sure that the. the yeah, the trap is yeah. the last one. Yeah, no, that's on there. All right, so now it's the monster's turn. He upstages again. So he's going to put that mood into place. He's going to get plus one speed, plus one uh, damage token. And he actually just appears at the center of the board, so he can go like that. Right. Now he's going to target the villain, and they get to attack. So TP, now we're going to interrupt his targeting, and you are going to first spend a survival to surge. So are you going to need to roll to see if you get your survival back. Okay. We do, do not, not, so we're going down by one More back to ten. You got that one out of the way. So now I need you to roll a d10 for your hit check. Let's do this. A four. That is a hit. It's a hit. So, now I need you to roll a d10 for your wound check, and you're attacking the Valiant Paldron. Maelstrom's rolled a 7, is that a crit? And that is a crit. More importantly, that is a kill. <gasps> the Lion Knight is dead. Whew. Wow, that was a pain in the ass. That was a pain in the ass. Wow. Good job, Josh. I cannot spell. We knew that, though. Jubbler Nut. How many endeavors are Bones. we at? We had three people die during the DK, so that's six. We had one return, seven. We had two more die Eight, here. nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> eleven <laughs> endeavors. Texas. <gasps> Thank you, Terminus. Thank star. you so much. Thank you so much. And then they're going to return also, so that's two more endeavors. They don't get they don't get endeavors returning because it's a special showdown. Oh, gotcha. But the deaths still do count. <clears throat> So uh, wait. Pain in the ass. That was awesome. Very fun fight. Uh, it was a fun fight, though. You guys. Like, Red Sonia is such an amusing character to play as. Why is it saying that Terminator Star is not in our... Are you spelling it correctly? Oh. I copied and pasted it. Maybe he's not in the chat. Ooh. Or maybe he just joined chat like a minute ago and he hasn't registered yet, so... Try again. Ooh, cheers! Oh, thank you, Shadow Zero, for the cheer. Oh, thank you so much! Little pyramids. More importantly, look at all those mad ups. Oh, yeah. All right. Ready for next phase. So, so what, there victory. We all are going to get plus one hunt XP and plus one weapon proficiency. So they're not going to get weapon proficiency. They're going to get plus one hunt XP, though. So then we're going to do finale. Story. Yeah. So we don't have video for it. Well, technically, no. What? It's trigger according to Star, but because we have a Fetosaurus... No, it's... Are you sure? Yeah, and the guy with Fetosaurus is kind of dead. Oh, yeah, he is so. dead. So, we get to do Finale. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a story? Yeah. Why didn't you have me make a story? I forgot wait, to wait. send it to you. <clears throat> Before you get into that... What do I do? 
What? We have something important to do. Oh, it's dead. Do you want to again? We got another. We got another sub. So there's another. Oh, Jesus. Now. That's right. Um. Bottom box under the hex box. Ooh, another option. Ooh. Augury. Augury? That's how you say it, right? Yes. We've got... Ogre. And that is from? That is from Steve Jackson Games. Ooh. Thank you, Steve Jackson Games and BGG Con. Hey, Termain Star. And so, again, anyone that is currently subscribed and has subscribed today before the end of our giveaway uh, is going to be available to win the subscriber-only giveaway. And that is going to be an option of this plethora of games that TP pulled out, as well as the uh, Dice Tower. It might be in the container in the office. <laughs> TP had Botox face right there. Thank you so much. No facial expression. Ooh, Steve Jackson. I know that name. <laughs> All right, so... Story time. Finale. The Lion Knight dramatically falls prone and begins a well-rehearsed finale. The retinue draws the survivors near to hear the Lion Knight's soliloquy. There was once a woman. Her body was a testament to her life of struggle and survival. She was beyond her limit. No longer could she be nourished on determination alone. She was going to die. With her last shred of strength, she dug for a paltry meal through a flinty crack. But her fingernail broke on the rock. As blood trickled from her hand, she slipped into oblivion. A hero approached, transfixed by the beauty of the scene. The hero was moved. Of course, a hero does not need a reason to do what they must. In a practiced, whispered tone, the Lion Knight speaks. This time, it is you, the true heroes, who have saved me. Your struggle is beautiful and has revealed much. Goodbye. A mask is laid over the Lion Knight's face. Stifled tears break the silence. The retinue produces a grand coffin from stage left and gently places the Lion Knight inside, hefting it over their heads. They vanish into the darkness. Relieved and confused, the survivors mill about awkwardly. One of them finds a small manuscript of the retinue left behind. The settlement loses the Black Mask, White Mask innovation. Archive it. If the settlement has... Uh, had we innovated pictographs? No, we did not. <laughs> Nominate a survivor to study the manuscript. They gain the courtly screenwriter, screen secret fighting art. Who we nominate? I don't know. Uh, for cold? Sure, why not? I miss your your uh. My videos. Yeah. Yeah, Josh didn't want me to do one for this one. Why? Wolverine. I don't. Does he pretend to die? Or does he actually die? I don't think we actually get that. You don't think we get it? No. Okay. I wonder what it does, though. Um, at the beginning of the showdown, you write down on a piece of paper who you think is going to get the final blow. If you are correct, then uh, the survival limit of the settlement goes up by one. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. All right. So, unfortunately, we don't get that because we don't have pictographs because we can't read. So, that doesn't happen. So, we get to go back to the settlement. And then what happens, Josh? Ooh, I get to award some points for... Uh, our videos I are on YouTube, Ender the Third. We yes. have the narrations on YouTube. So, if you go and check out our YouTube channel, uh, you can get all of those for your personal use. Yeah. For all the mood setting. Oh, you know what I mean. Um, all right, so next let's do Hooded Knight. Okay, so Hooded Knight. And the contest winner is being selected now. Oh, that uh, was we Red did Sonia. the final blow, correct? Yep. So Red Sonia. Uh, five people won some points with this. Okay, so Hooded Knight. Uh, if any survivor admits no one, so mysterious agenda. Roll a d10. So TP, we need a d10 to be rolled. And do that. And this is going to be for Hooded Knight. All right. Uh, please roll one d10. Babies, all the babies. Yeah, we still can't make babies. Nine. Oh, nine. All right. So the Hooded Knight forces a tattered survival into the hands of the returning survivor with the most hunt XP. 
So who's that, Josh? That guy's gonna be Red Sonia. Oh damn it! Why? Uh, what did you do? Everyone else died. Because everyone else died. You Wait. you get the Twilight Sword now. Wait, everyone died? Well, everyone else with the higher hunt XP. Uh, so you have the Twilight Sword now, which is really more of a pain in the ass than anything else. You sound so freaking bitter. A little bit. I thought the Twilight Sword was supposed to be amazing. No. Really? No. It's good against the Watcher only, and it's only if you train with it, and it's kind of a hindrance until you train with it. Can and I just choose to not use no, it? No, that's the thing, is it's a cursed item, which means that you have to always have it in your gear grid. But there's my Zambato. Oh, well, you can still have, you can have multiple weapons, it's just that you're going to have to get rid of one of your other things. So That stinks. This is actually the second time that, wah, wah, that Red Sonya wah, got the Twilight wah. Sword. How did we get rid of it last time? We you died. died, and then you came back to life. Through Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Yeah. I mean, we can do that again, technically. Good. Donald Trump. Ay, ay, ay. So, Tattered Parcel, it's the Twilight Sword. Yay. Do you have it, Josh? Yeah, it's right here. And there you also get the cloak? Yeah. Yay. Okay, so that is the end of Hooded Knight. The sword, it's like, it's not particularly strong. It's strong, but like... it. Okay, so it is strong, but it's a pain in the ass to get the proficiency up. And then once you get max proficiency with it, you you just... You run away and you... Eh. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Twilight hack. Yes. Trigger murder. Yes, we have the extras from the white box. So we also have the uh, dormant Twilight quo yep. cloak. So the Twilight Sword Master, just so you guys see, it's uh, slow, so you only roll one dice. It's cursed, so you can't get rid of it. It's cumbersome, so you can't move and attack. Uh, it's sentient, so something. Um, irreplaceable. Sentient means you need to be insane to use it. Yes. Uh, irreplaceable, which means that once you die, it goes away. Uh, gains devastating two when fighting the Watcher. Accuracy is nine minus your Twilight Sword proficiency level, so it's a nine plus to hit. And for every level of weapon proficiency you have, it's minus one to that, so it becomes more accurate. Uh, the specializations here, so once you have at least two in your weapon proficiencies, ignore cumbersome, so you can move and attack. Uh, once you get to four, you ignore slow and gain plus two speed, so it no longer becomes a one die weapon, it's a three die weapon. Yeah. And then when you get to six plus, it gains deadly, so you get a plus one luck on it. But then once you max out your survival, you leave the settlement forever. So, you know. Yeah, and the game goes with 25 years. You can go to end game at your 20 if you want. Um, and you can push the game further back if you want to. Right. Okay, so that's the end of Hooded Night. Josh, what's next on the agenda? Uh, we have a Necrotoxic Mistletoe. Necrotoxic oh, Jesus, that's now? Mistletoe. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah. We're not going to have anyone left. I'm just making a mess. Why? Why would you do that? It's my favorite pastime. Mm. That is true, Maelstrom. That's actually a very good point. Um, however, if the weapon is cumbersome, you can't surge to attack with it, correct? Then we need to s technically surge with the Zombato first. Yeah. Or someone else get hit with the Zombato, and then they can go. So, Necrotoxic Mistletoe. Small buried plants bloom all over the settlement, and airy pollen clusters dance in the lantern light as they fall from the atmosphere above. The ghostly scene is beautiful. The returning survivors feel their hearts lift and gain five survival. Uh, as the settlement frolics enjoying the phenomenon, a few members begin to feel sleepy. Cold-nosed and covered in pollen, they sit on the side and watch everyone play. Nominate a health-conscious survivor. They gain plus one understanding, plus one courage, and check up on their sleepy friends. So, Josh, who are you nominating? That's what I'm looking at now. <laughs> you should be honored to have one of your puny survivors join the ranks of the Twilight Knights. And yes, Bad Scribbler, time for most of the settlement to die. Uh, pick one of these two. It's our choice. And then, uh, Kalen Threndall. Keep Zambato, dash in, surge crit, then use to hit so the accuracy doesn't matter as much. That Yeah, that's basically what you'd need to do. Or give someone else a grand weapon, because... We have weapon mastery, so anyone can do the grand weapon thing. So I'm gonna pick Gormzy Blanketborn. Gormzy Blanketborn? Have so, Daisy Dukes? No, I like Gormzy Blanketborn. So, TP, we need Twitch to roll a D10. Okay. 
Remember the luck plus speed we have, we can make any weapon deadly as long as we that's very true, Maelstrom. That's very true. Need all the cog swaggles. So Texwolf, not yet. We still have to <laughs> The one. <laughs> yeah, we're using a lifetime reroll. Go ahead and deduct that, Josh. Uh, I'm going to deduct it from... Oh, a nine. Good. Scuba Steve is going to use a reroll. They, they, they got a nine on the no, reroll. Oh, we did a reroll? Yeah. I'm assuming that that's... Oh. Can we just use the nine? Uh, we got a one. Yeah, I know. We had them reroll the one. Yeah. Oh. And the next roll was that. A so nine, yeah. Before we even saw it, so... Uh, the health conscious survivor realizes that the necrotoxic mistletoe has invaded their flesh, and they are the source of the epidemic. Oh, I could have done With a heavy heart, they leave with the infected survivors, never to be seen again. Suffer minus four population. This is a good roll. Okay. We lost four people. Wait, no, we have sculpture. I know. Oh, you're right. Sorry. What, what are you doing here? You're right. I should have nominated this. If... This would have been stupid, but no. Why? This is the uh, green savior. No, that's silly. Doctor. that's silly. If the settlement has innovated sculpture, the health conscious survivor uses the tools to dissect and research the plants and their pollen. As the buds appear on the body, they manage the invasive plant and gain the acanthus doctor secret fighting art. Sadly, a few people die of infection, minus two population. What was one, they want to know. A one was a survivor eats one of the berries and within a matter of moments explodes in a fountain of gore and, some, and pollen. Some survivors, including the health-conscious survivor, are caught in the blast and begin to bloat. Together, they run into the darkness to detonate safely away from the others, suffer minus four population. And so, yeah. All right, so I'm going to kill Scuba Steve and Daisy Dukes. Okay. So we have 13 endeavors. <laughs> <laughs> What? So we're going to be making all the babies, hopefully, right? And we get plus one or plus two to our world results because of the oh. ice in the sky. It's an awesome year for baby making. Yes! There's going to be a lot of getting so down. So what's going on, everyone? Uh, this is the... Necrotoxic mistletoe. So this is the negative effect of making Vespertine bows. Yes. So while a Vespertine bow is a phenomenal weapon, you lose people. You lose a lot of people. So I got a Canthus Doctor? Yes. So the Canthus Doctor with the Manhunter tool belt, you're going to have fun. It's going to be... I'm upset that we don't have our berry hack still. Yeah, the berry hack was awesome. The fruit. So there was, in the beginning, there was a fruit uh, that you could only get from a Lantern Year 6 or lower... Nine lonely or lower tree, something. Nine or lower Lonely Tree, which was the Jagged Marrow Fruit. And if you consume it, you get this ability where once per showdown, you spend... All your survival, mm -hmm. and you get to transition all of your plus one strength tokens to plus one luck tokens. Now, why is that important? Because with Acanthus Doctors, when you depart on a showdown, for however many green affinities you have, you get plus one strength tokens. Yes. So, average Acanthus Doctor, we were getting, what, plus six strength tokens? Yeah, something. Now, more, now it's going to be more because of the tool belt and stuff like that, like... I need to finish making the gear for him, but yeah, he'll be... So, essentially, we could have wound up spending all our survival but getting seven luck tokens. So, it just would have been a crit machine. Crit machine! Yeah. With a pickaxe. With a pickaxe. <laughs> the weirdest crit machine. They just know where to put the pickaxe. So, uh, do we have any other events that we're taking care of, Josh? That is all the events. Do we have to read a story event for Slendry? No, we don't have to read a story event for Slendry. Okay. Um, we can do our settlement kind of endeavors now if we want. I think we should save that for the pre-show next time. Okay. We normally do like the baby roll in during the show, so. I think that's like the up to you guys. It's getting on the later end of okay. the spectrum, so. Of course, I'm sure if you wanted to roll eight thousand babies. That's, that's why I was suggesting that we save it. Okay, that's fine. Thanks for calling me out on it, though. I appreciate it. It's my job. I mean, he wasn't catching the hint. I know he's. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a nemesis, but it's a normal nemesis fight. It's not a special encounter. So, so you technically a, depart for you it. You depart for it at the end of the phase. So with that... Whoa! Thank whoa. you, Juggler Nut! What? what? That's a giveaway, I what? think. I'm right? pretty sure that's another giveaway. What? Matt doesn't want to make babies. Oh my god! <laughs> so, TP? Is that is that another giveaway? That is... I mean, if it's not, it is anyway, because oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Do a mat up. What, what did you do? 
Why did you put a period in there? No period. Oh, I don't know why I did that. You can't have a period if you're making babies. I got, I, I, I got excited. Wow. <laughs> Lightbot, stop. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, what? I can't do too many things at once. I'm going to freak out. Wait, why is Nightbot yelling at Tex Wolf? He said, like, woo or something. I oh. didn't see it. Like, it just, like... I'm spelling it wrong, too. Two Bs. With the, there's a note. There's a note. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one to the giggle snore. Yeah. All right. Jumbo Nut. Wait, why did we plus one for the terrible pun? What was I did, it again. did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Hang on. What was the pun? I don't know. You do Oh. Some- I said you can't have a period if you're making babies. You're so dumb. Yeah. Panda dance, uh, I think, is called for. Okay, panda dance. Do the panda dance. No Botox face in the panda dance. Look excited. There you go. Thank you. Wow, we're at 17 giggle snorts. Wow, that's since That's since Friday. And was helping me on the giggle snores. That's I'm sure. So what are we going to be doing for our second giveaway today, TP? And just as a reminder for you guys... Everyone that's in the channel, you guys get one ticket for our tip giveaway. So we do have a second B on the wall, which would be appropriate, but it is just the... It's just the mini? Just the mini. Of the box. We're in the box. Yeah. Yeah, so no promos, no art card. So we're going to be giving away two B on the walls. One is the full set, so art card, promo card, and mini. And the second one is just the mini. Um, so... For you guys, everyone in the chat, you get one ticket, so you can go and redeem your ticket for the giveaway. The nice thing is that your one ticket will enter you in both giveaway items. If someone happens to win both, we'll give you a second giveaway item. Don't worry about that. Uh, on top of that, too, for each minute you've been watching, you gain one point. You can redeem 25 points for a ticket. And, of course, for your tips, for your gambling, stuff like that, you're going to be gaining additional points. So... Every buck you give us, you get 100 points. Yeah, so, so... that's like four tickets for a buck. That's how it is. You scaled yeah. it. Very yeah. differently now. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but yeah. So some people are going to have a lot of tickets, some people are not, but then our loyal viewers are going to have a ton of tickets too. You know, because your and tickets, your not your tickets, but your points carry over for the entirety until you use them. Do we just go down? No? I don't think so. Oh, yes, F. <laughs> we got we got out of doing the giveaway. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, we're still recording. Yeah, it should come back up because uh, we're still online. It's just gonna automatically come back up. Yeah, that's what's the issue we're having. <laughs> Can do you guys say something in chat, please? No, I accidentally exited out. Oh. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Can are they saying anything? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. I'm trying to like load the internet <laughs> is being so you back up. Yeah. We're back up? Yeah. Okay. We we're trying to get out of not giving away anything. No, I'm kidding, guys. So we are we're live again. Right? We're live I again. didn't even have to do anything. That was really cool. It's because we weren't talking about the update. Oh. Poots pulled the plug. We already talked about the update Ooh, though. Updo. 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 Okay. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have three giveaways tonight. Yes, we're going to be doing our subscriber-only giveaway. Mm-hmm. We're going to be doing two tip giveaways. So, I don't know what you guys heard, but I, I, if someone wins both of the tip giveaways, obviously we're going to give away something else for their second win. Right. Uh, it's not... You won't get two of the same thing that's... Yeah, I mean, no, unless no. you want both minis. If you want both minis, you can I mean, if you're a painter, you never know. You could win do that. Fair and square? Yeah. Um, so... I do want to point out that we ask international winners to split halvesies. halvesies so um, on the shipping. free shipping for people in the Lincoln Continental United yes. States. And uh, just so you know, be on the wall. It shouldn't be too much. It should just be a small envelope. Yeah. Really easy. But it, uh, for the subscriber only giveaways, there are some bigger boxes here. So you might want to take that in consideration when you're deciding. Correct. So uh, let's go. We have. Okay. Let's so make sure you guys have the uh, the link in there so you can go buy tickets. So take care of that. And while you guys are buying those, I'm going to do you know start doing our sign off stuff. And also any late late, uh, late minute subscribers who want to get in on the subscriber thing, you still have a few minutes you to still go. Still a few minutes, and we'll add another game you guys can pick from every for each one. That's so. true. Yeah. So um, first, I'd like for you all to please follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord. There's always something going on. We've got our lovely subscriber only channel. 
Uh, I just want to win a giveaway so Matt can drive down to me and hand it personally. Where is Never Knows again? Miami, I, I believe. Miami? Yeah. Is he? Never Knows. You should totally come to uh, Lutes. Lutes. Tomorrow. Yeah. And watch me Facebook while we stream. There you go. Uh, also, please, I, again, we're talking about subscribers. If you guys are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, it goes to benefit the stream, and all the money we get for the stream is going to go back to you guys for uh, giveaways, cool content, stuff like that. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free sub, so if you can do that, TT. Yeah. So if you link them over, you can do Twitch Prime, you get to do a free sub. We'd love it if you did it for us, and we'd really appreciate it. Phrasing? Yeah, we'd love it if you did it to us. Uh, Bears vs. Baby is going to be next month. February 22nd, I believe, and that is going to be at Loot. Uh, we actually should be getting the swag in on Thursday. Ooh. So we'll uh, see if we're allowed to share that. Yeah, uh, well, we were talking about doing Rampage, I believe. And Matt's actually supposed to come to Loot and play. Finally. So he might play Rampage, which is actually a game I wanted to play. Thank you, Ender the Third. Thank you, Ender. Wait, what? Ender, Ender the Third just tipped $10. Oh, thank you so much. Don't let me forget to. Give him the bonus points now so you can get those tickets. Yeah, give me one second. So, uh, also, if you can stay tuned for our future streams, uh, we have tomorrow night, as we were saying, 8 p.m. Eastern Time at Loot Games and Comics in Coral Springs, Florida. If you are in the South Florida area or you're going to be in town for whatever reason, uh, feel free to come and check them out. It is an open gaming night there, so you can come play with us IRL. And that is, good again, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can also join us for our stream on Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we're doing our restart of Twitch Plays Descent, uh, normal mode this yeah, time. Yeah, normal mode this time, that, hard mode, and... And hopefully we've got all the kinks worked out. Yeah. Uh, then join us on Friday. TP forgot to put this. <laughs> join us on Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time for our podcast of Great Game Hunters. I'm sure you all will be interested. It is our Kingdom Death podcast where we like to pick apart all of the individual animals. Animals. Monsters. monsters. In the game. And this evening, or that evening, we will be scheduled to do uh, the Phoenix. Possibly the Kingsman as well. Yeah. We're not sure if we're going to be doing both. Maybe um, we'll play it by ear, but how depending on how long the yeah the Phoenix goes. We'll be prepped for both of them. The reason that uh, just to go backtrack a little bit, uh, the reason that we decided to do normal um, for Twitch Plays Ascent, it was it was uh, a drag. It was a little too much. We had a couple comments about how it was kind of yeah. It was also funny. a lot slower game, um, hard. Harder to play along with Twitch. And and harder to play along, it made, it made the game longer. And we didn't want to get to a point where we have to break every session into multiple parts. Correct. Because we couldn't finish last session, it just went on too long. So, so then on top of that, uh, again, Great Game Hunters, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That is myself, Josh, and our fantastic contributor, Fen. TP, if you could please link over, because he paints minis and he does a damn good job at it. And he also does commission work. So if you don't quite have the magic touch with your painting, or if you do and you just want to add to your collection, mm -hmm. uh, he does fantastic commission work. And all of the painted minis that we have, unfortunately, we don't. We didn't show off one in this fight. But here, I'll show off. We have the uh, our stand-in for the Sunderman. Yeah, the Tyrant. And that is painted by Fen. And he does some really phenomenal detail work. It's like It might be a little hard to see on these cameras, but he does a great job. So go check him out. I know he'll appreciate it. And we appreciate you checking him out because... He's been fantastic to us. Absolutely. Uh, we have not picked the winners yet, Pilamar, so if you want, you can go and get a last-minute chance to get your tickets. Uh, and then join us on Monday for our next Spotlight session. That is 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we are spotlighting what, TP? Oh, I was wondering why you're getting that look. Trash Panda! Yay! <laughs> and that is currently live on Indiegogo. And I did link it. Uh, thank you so much to Michael for giving us a copy. Um, and to Agent Better, who told us it existed. Because Trash Pandas, duh. All right. And then worst case scenario, we hope you guys join us back here for our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Next week, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Hopefully we're going to finish Lantern Year 16. Uh, other than that, I think it's time for us to do the giveaway. Let's pull the winner. So we're going to be doing the uh, tip giveaway first. We are. So give me one second. We'll let <clears> me <throat> get that nice little overlay, overlay going. Yeah, next week is going to be all the babies. A ridiculous amount of babies. 
Maybe some bears. Maybe some bears? You get bears it? Maybe? You get it? Okay. <laughs> so TP? All right, so we are going to the giveaway. You have like about five more seconds to enter. This is gonna link that one last time. Again, we are doing two regular giveaways, one sub only giveaway. So, and there's no reason not to be entered in the giveaway because it is completely free for the first ticket. No points used. So let's get this show on the road. I read that as Richard Nixon. I don't know if they meant for that. Like Richard Nixon from oh, Future. I thought you were talking about making baby pancakes. I'm like, making baby pancakes. <laughs> Crosses tentacles. What? All right. I, I thought that said something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had those removed, Josh, remember? Yeah, yeah. The, the, well, he died also. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we've got 67 people in this giveaway with 1,733 tickets purchased. That's it? That's it. Okay, so who is the winner of number one? And number one is the complete Beyond the Wall. Correct. So that is the sprue, the art card, and the two promo cards that are in it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to draw a winner on the full Beyond the Wall set. Drum roll, please. Put a, put a, put a, put a, put a, put a. Don't for real, because dogs bark. Yes. Corn Avatan! Corn Avatan, congratulations. You have won the Beyond the Wall complete set. And that is the uh, the white box with the sprue, the art print, and the two uh, promo cards. So congratulations, Corin Avatan. Uh, we just need to get your information from you. As long as you're in the Lincoln Continental US, we will ship that over to you for free. Now, TP, is it time for you to pull the next one? And let's see who the winner of the Beyond the Wall mini is. And that's the mini in the box. What's just the, the mini in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? The mini's in the box. What's in the box? All right. What's in the box? What's in the box? GK Lynn underscore two. GK Lynn two. Congratulations. You are the winner of the Beyond the Wall mini in the white box. Unfortunately, there's no art card with that, but it's still free. And we hope that you do something awesome. In it. They believe that one was donated to us by four told, but it could be wrong. I believe that was for told. Yay, thanks for told. Yay, uh, for told. And uh, you can do uh, close the giveaway, so I'll, I'll also Revelo will post in chat. Okay, and we are finished with this giveaway. So now it's time for us to do our subscriber-only giveaway. So we are going to populate a list of the subscribers that we currently have, pull one at random, and give you a choice of any of those games that TP so graciously showed off on the stream before. So... As a reminder, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options. That's quite a few options. Uh, yeah, we, this this has been an awesome session. Thank you to every single person who, oops, I did something wrong. Uh-oh, what'd you do? It just doesn't want to go away. You don't want to go away. No, the little notification of who won, it doesn't want to go away. Anyway. All right, so TP, I, have you pulled the list yet? Okay, so yeah, we do have a list. We have 104 people who have, who are, have a possibility of winning. I like it. So what we're going to do is roll a, a D104. D104. So TP is going to post that in the chat, and the first person that rolls it is going to have the honor of effectively rolling the winner die. <clears throat> so D104. I think I went on a two. 71. 71. So who is 71? 71. The 71st subscriber, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Zevtis, X-E-V-T-E-S. X-E-V-T-E-X, Zevtis. So congratulations, Zevtis. Uh, you are the winner of the subscriber-only giveaway. We will contact you as soon as possible, and you are going to have a choice of any of the games or Dice Tower that TP showed off on the stream today. So again, free shipping in the Lincoln Continental United States. Otherwise, 50-50 split. Shouldn't be too bad. Some of the games are big. Some and Zeftis is in chat. Woo -woo! Oh, look at that. Fantastic. So congratulations, <laughs> Zeftis. Uh, other than that, thank you all for joining us this evening. We love doing all of these giveaways. This is a lot of fun. It, nothing makes us happier than pulling like 800 million names. So. I, I especially like doing multiple giveaways at once. Yeah, because the points just go towards so much more. <clears throat> so, um, Zeptis, I will be contacting you with a full comprehensive list of what you can choose from. You'll have to give us our, your address and then let us know which one you want. So, other than that... Thank you all for joining us. This has been another fantastic Twist Gaming presentation. Come play with us again sometime. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. 
And I'm TP. Good night, everyone. Good night. Are we doing a raid? I'm just looking to see if anyone's on. Is anyone on? No one that I know. Sign off screen? Sign off screen. Bye-bye. Meet Mike Josh.